From beautiful Beaufort, South Carolina, WHHI-TV proudly presents the Independent Bowl, presented by Summit Services Heating and Air. Tonight, we venture across the bridge to Ladies Island for this matchup between the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins and the Beaufort Academy Eagles. When you think of this game in skis of football, one word comes to mind, tradition. Hilton Head Prep and Beaufort Academy have had that with legendary head coaches Dave Adams and Mark Clifford at the helm in recent years. Now it's time for two new guys to put their imprints on these programs. Prep turns to second year man Dustin Etheridge, who lost this game by 12 a year ago, 34-22, and BA has Nick Schuford at the helm, who while at Thomas Hayward Academy had a bunch of success, an all-time record versus the Dolphins of nine and four. It's been a while since Hilton Head Prep has won a game and is 0-3 versus Buford Academy all time. Will the tide be shifting or will the Eagles stay on top as one of the best Giza 2A teams in this non-region matchup? It's the Independent Bowl only on WHHI Sports TV and it starts right now. Merritt Field on the campus of Buford Academy High School. This is WHHI Sports and the Independent Bowl. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, the rest of our WHHI Sports TV crew with you. When you take a look at this matchup, Daniel, it comes down to a few guys on each team that are going to be a big factor. We'll start with HHP. Yeah, three guys I'm looking at. Uh, sophomore quarterback Wyatt Harmer, uh, great arm, physical. Um, A.J. Barger can kind of do it all. Uh, he's a utility guy. And uh, Danny Fernandez on defense coming back from a big injury a few years ago. On the other side, you've got certainly Devontae Green, Jackson Porter, and Diedrich Shuford, the star quarterback for B.A. When we return on the Appliances by Design pregame show here on WHHI-TV, Daniel is going to talk with our visiting head coach, and that is next as the pregame show rolls on right after this timeout. Appliances by Design was founded on Hilton Head and is serving the low country. We're local owners, industry professionals, and we're here to help. When you're ready to replace that mattress with some quality sleep, we've got you covered. We've got the best prices on well-known brands like Beautyrest to support the highest quality of sleep. Get the quality you need for the best price. Plus, we do delivery, installation, warranty work, so you get service like you've never had before. Appliances by Design. 20 Hatton Place, Hilton Head Island, next to Barnes & Noble. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hi, I'm Anna, Chicken Salad Chick, and we are ready for the 2023 football season. Stop by today and grab a quick chick, some cookies, a gallon of iced tea, or a fresh-made lemonade to enjoy at your tailgate party. I'm here with head coach Dustin Etheridge with the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins. Coach, um, you got a big test in front of you tonight. You had a, 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 a good game in the first half last week. Um, you got some good athletes on the field. Your roster's a little thin, as has been in the past. What are your thoughts about the game going in? Uh, you know, where are you guys? Uh, it's going to be a test. Coach Shuford always has a great football team. Um, BA is always fundamentally sound, really tough to beat. We're just trying to get better one play at a time. We're, we're small in numbers, but we, uh, we've got some courage over there, and we're going to try to give them four quarters of football. Well, you got some real leaders in Wyatt Harmon and A.J. Barger, uh, Danny Fernandez. you got mm -hmm. some great players. You just, I think, the more you can keep these great backs off the field, the better, right? Uh, no doubt about it. we got to get the ball in A.J.'s hands at least 20 times a game. 
um, and let the, let the pieces kind of fall around him. Get some first downs, grind some clock. That's it, that's okay, it. Okay, Coach. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, we're going to throw it over to Marcus, who has head coach Nick Shuford. My name is Quentin Miles, sales coordinator for Charleston, Bluffton, Hilton Head, Beaufort. Aflac has a proprietary cloud-based enrollment platform available to you at no employer cost. We help you manage your hiring and retention competitiveness, and we help your employees manage the rising costs of healthcare affordably. I've got 17 years experience to help you make the right decision with your employee benefits. Contact me today for more information. I think my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. Having trouble sleeping? FWDG has all the things for your best night's sleep. Let's go get a sleep report and find your perfect mattress. You can get mattresses for more or less, ones that lift, and sheets that pass the test. FWDG for the best rest. The Appliances by Design pregame show rolls on. Marcus Walsh here with Nick Shuford. Coach, talk about a couple of keys that you're looking forward to seeing from your team tonight after a 2-0 start to start the year. We, we've got a lot to clean up on. Um, offensive line, we've got to get a little more crisper. We had a lot of penalties last week that we need to clean up on, and uh, special teams are big. Uh, we've got to clean up special teams, too. So we've got a lot of room for improvement despite being 2-0. and You've had your time against this team in the past with THA. Talk about some of those games and your moments in this rivalry. Yeah, they're, they're going to show up to play, no doubt. Um, a lot of people got wrapped up in their score last week with Bethesda, but when you watch the film, the, the game, the score was not indicative. I mean, that was a two-possession game until well into the fourth quarter. So um, they're going to come out and give us their best shot, and we better be ready to play. Coach, looking forward to seeing it tonight. Thanks so much for a moment. And when we return, we've got much more right after this on WHHI Sports TV. We are here at Chicken Salad Chick out in Bluffton, and we are ready for some high school football. Yes, we you are. You guys are one of our tailgate sponsors. Thank you for that. Thank you. We're very excited to be a part. Yeah, and you know what? It's such a great place out here to grab and go, something perfect for tailgating. Yes. You want to talk to us today about your family pack. Yes, we have a family pack that is perfect for a family of four. You can come through and pick this up. It is two of our one-pound quick chicks, and you can get any flavors, six croissants to put the quick chicks on to make sandwiches, six cookies, one large side, and the one we have here is great salad, which we know is everyone's favorite, and your choice of a tea or a lemonade to go. And of course, the tea and the lemonade right now with it, how hot it is out there. Uh, and Perfect. this one's cold. Yeah. Want some now? <laughs> we're going to we're gonna have, to, we're gonna have to break that open when we finish here. So let's talk a little bit about um, what you have to offer out here at Chicken Salad Chick because it's such a great location and you it have is. a drive through. Tell us where you are, what your hours are, and why you're excited for so this it's season. It's such a beautiful store. We've been here about two years now. We offer a drive through as well as dining and patio. And we are located off of Buckwalter Parkway, right in front of the Big Kroger. And let's talk a little bit about getting into fall because, you know, here we are. We are at football season. Why are you guys excited to be a tailgate sponsor this year? And so, is there anything new that's going to be coming out this fall? I know sometimes you do a seasonal salad. We do a seasonal salad, but I have not been privy to that yet. Right, they released yet. it to us Next about time. a week ahead of time. But I will tell you that the most important thing for Chicken Salad Chick is just to be part of the community. Yeah. And what better way to be in the community than be with the high school football players and the parents and the teams. Absolutely. Well, Anne, thank you so much for sharing all about this with us. And make sure that you are getting out here to Chicken Salad Chick to pick up your family pack for your tailgate before the game. Come see us at Copper Frog Car Wash, a family-owned full-service and express service car wash. Our hand-washed, thorough cleaning service will have your car looking like new. Our goal is to have you back on the road in 20 minutes. We have everything from express washes to platinum services for you to choose from. Located on the north end of the island, we offer great locals discounts and monthly memberships that will keep your car always looking copper frog clean. Come see us today. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving. 
because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common, quality, innovation and service. Give us a call today. Life is grand with a piano. Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron and Heron Piano Consignment serves Bluffton, Savannah, Charleston, Beaufort, and Hilton Head for piano sales, rentals, and service. Kauai Piano Gallery in Bluffton offers the full line of Kauai products, from hybrids and digitals to concert grand pianos. Quality pre-owned inventory includes Kauai, Steinway, Yamaha, Baldwin, and more. Also now offering lessons. Head to Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron.com. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today only at OC Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. Now the National Anthem brought to you by O.C. Welch. My name's Chris Rogers, I'm the referee. This is Mr. Westcott, Mr. Campbell on the line, Mr. Turner on the line, and Mr. Brennan on the back, all right? Yes, sir. You guys are your captains. We expect you to lead your team, take care of them, make sure they have good sportsmanship, all right? Yes, sir. If you knock somebody down, help them get up when the play's over, all right? We're all here to have fun and play a good game, right? That's a, you're the visitors. You get to call, that's a head. It's a tail, it's a head, that's a tail. Call it. Tails. Tails. Tails call. It's a tails. What would you like? Receive. Receive? It's All right. Receive. Which way you want to kick? All right, put your backs to your goal. White's won the toss and will receive. You can to the scoreboard. Shake hands, guys, and let's go. As we welcome you back here to Merritt Field, want to thank Betsy McDaniel for her interview at Chicken Salad Chick as part of the Appliances by Design pregame show. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Giacomo, Maria Soden, Kevin Libby, Joseph Keith, Jeremy Pope. We're all with you here on this Friday night, it's the Independent Bowl. And B.A. comes in at 2-0 after a couple of impressive, impressive wins. They are kicking off to Hilton Head Prep, who got beat pretty good last week, but they're back in it. And the return by Hilton Head Prep in white, blue, and red is going to go out to about the 32-yard line. And it'll be first down in favor of Hilton Head Prep. First down and 10 coming up. A reminder that tonight's game brought to you by Summit Services Heating and Air, our presenting sponsor. Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services Heating and Air for supporting WHHI sports all year long. And also, we'd like to let you know that our penalty flag sponsor is 
by Aflac. Don't penalize your employees by firing or offering just medical insurance for no worksite benefits at all. Call Quentin Miles today to learn how you can help your employees at little or no cost to you. Not much on that first play. Nice play by number 55 on the way for B.A. That's a good play by Eddie Gonzalez, offensive tackle and tackle on defense. It'll be second down and 10 with 11.30 to go in the opening quarter, Daniel. Yeah, just as we discussed, uh, Dustin Etheridge goes right to number five, A.J. Barger. He is your utility guy, the kind of the do-it-all kind of guy on the football field, can catch, can run, can even throw, plays backup quarterback. So I think you're going to see them go or at least second call his 10. number a lot tonight. Pass is complete over the outside, and it's caught by number five. Heck of a play there, and that is A.J. Barger getting the first down for Hilton Head Prep. That is a summit. That is a Kevin Severe of State Farm first down. Kevin Severe of State Farm, a sponsor again this year. For all your home and auto insurance needs, visit Kevin Severe of State Farm today. Right on cue there, Marcus, just as I was talking, um, Wyatt Harmer finds A.J. Barger over the middle for a great pickup. And uh, got to be a positive uh, vibe going on over there on that Dolphin sideline so far. Here's a pitch to the left side, and what a tackle made. Beautifully done by number nine. Nice play by Grady Lamb on defense. He's also a tight end. And I had mentioned our flag sponsor, and there's one right there. Yeah, it looks like this is going to go against the Dolphins. Our officials, Chris Rogers is our referee. There he is. Umpire is Xavier Westcott. And <laughs> hey, we've got uh, Justin Jarrett with Loco spying on us over here. Yes, we do. Think JJ. He's checking to see if we, we know what we're talking about. Speaking of JJ, we've got JJ Turner at the lineman spot. Line judge is Alan Campbell and the backfield judge Mike Brennan. The uh, clock operator, Harry Lindbergh, that is a lot of years of officiating for those guys, no doubt about it. Again, the penalty flag sponsor, don't penalize your employees by offering just medical insurance or no worksite benefits at all. Call Quentin Miles today to learn how to help your employees at little or no cost to you, courtesy of AFLAC. 10.56 remaining in the opening quarter, second down to 10, ball at the 20, thanks to Justin Jarrett for spying on us. And uh, he is here with Loco Sports, as Daniel mentioned. Yeah, you, uh, another you, you, flag. you did a great job on their uh, podcast today, partner. Thank you, sir. I'll join them after this one as well. So we've got a second down and even longer after the flag by Hilton Head Prep. That's a couple in the last couple of plays. And another reminder that Appliances by Design had the pregame show. Appliances by Design of Hilton Head, unique, extraordinary, great value. And again, thanks to Betsy McDaniel for her interview at Chicken Salad Chick. And there's a short run, not much doing for prep on the ground. That was number 10. That is Wyatt Harmer, the quarterback and also linebacker. Not much doing. And third down coming up, 10.35 to go in the opening quarter. Again, Merritt Field, home of Buford Academy. They come in 2-0, scoring 57 points and giving up 37 on the year. And tough loss for uh, Hilton Head Prep against Bethesda, 50-7 last week. So we'll see what happens here. A lot of great games that Nick Schufert has coached against Hilton Head Prep in his career. He's 9-4 all-time going back to the days of when Max Preps was created. A lot of that at THA, now at Buford Academy in his first year. Etheridge lost this matchup, 34-22 to Mark oh, Clifford. No. That's a fumble by Armour. He's going to pick it back up. And Armour losing the football a little bit there. 10-17 to go on a third down and 10 from the 20. So it'll be fourth down, and we've got a man down for oh, Hilton no. Head Prep. And is that Danny Fernandez? It just Please might be. Please tell me it's not. Oh. It is number 79. He's writhing in pain. And that is, we'll have it for you. It's Fernandez. Oh, no. We are going to have a timeout, an injury timeout. We'll take it. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV. If you want to protect your loved ones from additional stress and expense, plan ahead with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Planning ahead tells your loved ones exactly what you want for your final wishes and protects them from rising costs. Make your final arrangements today with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. 
visit lowcountryfuneral.com. That's lowcountryfuneral.com. Come see us at Copper Frog Car Wash, a family-owned, full-service and express-service car wash. Our hand-washed, thorough cleaning service will have your car looking like new. Our goal is to have you back on the road in 20 minutes. We have everything from express washes to platinum services for you to choose from. Located on the north end of the island, we offer great locals discounts and monthly memberships that will keep your car always looking Copper Frog clean. Come see us today. Hi, I'm Ann at Chicken Salad Chick, and we are ready for the 2023 football season. Stop by today and grab a quick chick, some cookies, a gallon of iced tea, or a fresh made lemonade to enjoy at your tailgate party. With the Copper Frog Sideline Report, Kevin Libby here with Athletic Director Will Howell. Will, thanks for having us in your house. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. Oh, of course. So, we got a lot going on besides just football. Tell us what's happening this fall. So, we have a lot of different sports. Our middle school football team starts next week. We have cross country, we have a good varsity cheerleading team, uh, we have a swim team. Um, we have and we have girls tennis team, so we have a lot going on, um, different variety of sports that a lot of schools don't really have. Um, so it's good for our small school. So tonight you're all competing for the independent bowl. It's a fine piece of hardware. Tell us about what you already brought home last year in terms of some championships and some yeah. uh, some good great finishes. We had a, a really consistent year across the board. Um, our girls varsity soccer team won the state title. Our varsity boys soccer team was a runner up. Our varsity girls basketball team was also a state runner up. Um, and our cross country team finished third. Our volleyball team finished third. We won four region titles across the board for fall, winter, and spring. So very consistent, um, very competitive teams across the board. Will, again, congratulations on great seasons. Good luck the rest of the way going forward this fall. Thank you, sir. All right, my pleasure. Thank you. Kevin Libby with the Copper Frog Sideline Report. Back to Marcus and DC. Fourth down and 10 from the 20 yard line as we welcome you back to the Independent Bowl at Merritt Field on the home of Buford Academy. This is a high punt and it's going to be caught at the 45 yard line and taken down immediately for Buford Academy is number four wide receiver and cornerback Devin Fripp. So Fripp goes down, BA with the ball and their first drive on offense, Daniel, and we're expecting a lot from them on both sides of the ball after a big couple of weeks. Yes. They were able to put up some points. I'm really excited to get our first look at this three-headed marauder, this three-headed offensive marauder, which is Dietrich um, Schuford. Jackson, yeah, D Dietrich Schuford, um, Paxson, and uh, Jackson Porter. Oh, excuse and, me, Jackson Porter. And Devontae, Devontae, Green. Devontae Green. I talked about them, and there's Schuford, a little screen pass out to the outside. It's Jackson Porter down the sideline. He's got a first down, and he goes out of bounds after the first down brought to you by Kevin Severe of State Farm. Beautifully done. And I almost I almost said Paxson Jorder. <laughs> Kevin Severe of State Farm for all your home and auto insurance needs. Our coin toss sponsor this year is One Kawaii Piano Gallery by Heron for piano sales, rental service, and now lessons. Call Kawaii Piano Gallery by Heron today. First well, down to ten. That we're gonna see, I think, a lot of that. Uh, Marcus in this game, you know, you've got those two great backs and Porter and Devontae Green and, and Schubert. Ball at the 44. Schubert get it scrambling out quick. down and he's going to go down. That's a sack and it's going to be number six on the defensive side making the hit. Well done by have him at the end of the roster. Jason Britschke, senior tight end defensive lineman, plays on the end and it'll be second down. And Long coming up with 9.05 remaining in the opening quarter. Well, Nick Schu Schuford's making it pretty clear what he wants to do. You know, they're going to go, they're going right to the air. Uh, the first two plays, they're trying to get those two backs, the ball in space, Here's and let them create. Another run, and it's not going anywhere. Down goes number three. That was Trip Gregory touching the football. And there in the backfield, again, I do believe was Britschke. So it'll be third down and Long coming up for B.A. And this is exactly what... Hilton Head Preps got to do, Daniel, on both sides of the ball to have a chance in this game, especially in the first half. But their second half play, as we mentioned earlier, is going to have to be big too. Try to stay active and, and in check. Well, that was actually uh, play. Cody Hughes, number 11, the senior okay. running back linebacker in on that play. Two great defensive plays and a great push by that front line. 8.18 to go. Schufert scrambling around. Third down and long. He's going to fire downfield. Got him in, and it is incomplete down the right sideline. Double coverage by Hilton Head Prep. Pass intended, I do believe, for number five, Zeke Gonzalez, listed as a running back wide receiver. He is a senior, and it'll bring up fourth down and 10. 
And Buford Academy set to punt with 8.08 remaining in the quarter. Boy, if you're the Hilton Head Dolphins and Dustin Etheridge, that is exactly the first defensive series you could have you could have hoped for. Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, clearly Nick Shuford wants to go through the air early, but I think coming back in the next series, he might want to try to see what can happen on the ground because uh, whatever uh, Shuford was doing, the, the Dolphins did a super job of keying off yep. that and uh, got great penetration and had great coverage there. A.J. Barger breaking up that last pass. Fourth down and ten. Trip Gregory to punt. The snap was low. It was partially blocked. It is going to be on the ground, or was it a fake? Prep wow. takes over. It looked to me like the ball was blocked, but I believe it may have been a fake and a run down the right sideline for B.A. Regardless, it doesn't work, and Hilton Head will take over possession. That being Hilton Head, Prep takes over possession. First down and 10 ball at the, uh, let's see, around the 46-yard line, I think. 7.58 remaining in the quarter, and let us hear from our MVP sponsor, Island Tire. Island Tire, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head, an island tradition. Our media day sponsor, FWDG, the furniture, the furniture and services you deserve. Well, Marcus, I didn't get a clear look at that, but I think that I was a block either. and a pickup. That's kind of what it may have looked like to me. Hopefully you folks at home got a better look at it than we did here. 7.48 to go in the quarter, and Hilton Head Prep with the ball on their second possession. It'll be second down and 10. You know, Prep came out last week, even though the, the, the score was very lopsided by the end of the game. Prep played, uh, it was it Bethesda? Yeah. Bethesda Academy. They played them really they well did. through they, a, about through two the, and a half quarters. Through the half, it was 21-7 to seven Bethesda on top by two touchdowns, and then Prep gave up 29 unanswered in the second half. That's so, right. For the first half, for sure, it was a tight ball game. And that's going to be a big key as Harmer set the throw. He's going to go down. Number 50 with the hit beautifully done by Trey's Delaney. Tackle defensive tackle sophomore on the stop of quarterback Wyatt Harmer. So that's what I was talking about. And we were talking about the pregame. Hilton Head Preps got to try to last into the third quarter to have a shot. But so far, they look pretty good and, and very stingy doing what they need to do to try to contain holes and, and keep this a scoreless game, 6.48 to go. Well, it reminds me of, of how our game started last week, Marcus. Yes, indeed. Uh, the defense scoreless is, quarter. Scoreless quarter. The defenses are coming out very intense, uh, getting to the football. Both teams are trying to exert themselves uh, in the passing game, and the defensive lines and linebackers are having none of it. Six and a half to go. There's another flag brought to you by Aflac. Okay. And it's going to go. Hilton at prep going to get a little bit of extra momentum. They're going to get some of that yardage back after the sack on Harmer in the previous play. You know, let's, I let's I, hear from OC Welch, Daniel. Oh, sure. OC Welch Ford, go see OC today for a great car buying experience. Third down at 10. About the 45 yard line. Here's a run up the middle. Hilton at prep's going to get some of it back as on the ground number seven with a fine run. Or number two, I take that back. Thank you, sir. That's, uh, Davis, That's Davis Cargill. Cargill. Yeah, Remember sophomore. Him from a, a couple of years ago. He looks good. He does. Nice run there. Hit the hole hard, uh, made a few moves, and uh, got them very close. What are we, about three and a half yards for this first down? They're going to go for it. Oh, so no, fourth I down, and corrected. we are going to see a high Hunt. and booming kick that's going to go out of the back of the end zone. Fourth down and 10, the punt goes, so out of the back of the end zone, and B.A. will start over. Well, I like that call, though, Marcus. Uh, you know, even though I thought they were going for it there, they did punt, and uh, great kick. Hilton Head Prep has a long legacy of good kickers, don't they? Absolutely, they do. 5.40 to go here in the opening quarter. No score. In the Independent Bowl on WHHI Sports TV, Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Jackamot, Maria Soden, Kevin Libby, Joseph Keith, Jeremy Pope. We are with you. And here goes B.A. on the ground. Taking it down the sideline on the right side is Jackson Porter. 
He's got a nice run. Five and a half to play. And a first down brought to you by State Farm and Kevin Sevier. Yeah, just as I suspected, uh, Nick Shuford would go straight to the ground after that first series. He goes to the air three times with uh, very little success. So, you know, when you've got two backs like Green and Porter, you want to get them the ball and start grinding some clock, wearing on this defense of the Dolphins because, as we've discussed, and it's been well advertised, they are thin on that roster, and fatigue is going to be an issue in this game. B.A. averaging about 28 and a half points per game as there's a run up the middle, and there goes the big man, Green! He's going to maybe have a touchdown! Nobody going to get to him! 10-5! End zone! Peter! Touchdown! B.A. on the board first, courtesy of Devin Green! Boy, Devon or Devontae Green! Devontae Green showing why he was the Loco Player of the Week last week, Marcus. Uh, my gosh, does he have a burst of speed once he gets through to that secondary. Just runs away from players. Looks like we've and got a flag. And we do have a flag down. There's the yellow at the 41-yard line. This is coming back. 4.59 to go. Might as well read it since I had the call. Our, our touchdown sponsor is TCL. Step up with TCL, the technical college of the low country. And Marcus, even though that, uh, that play is going to come back, um, we did say uh, Devontae Green was the 1-2A uh, offensive player of the year last year, 159 carries for almost 1,400 yards and 18 touchdowns. Obviously, I mentioned the points that BA is averaging scoring at 28 and a half, and the the 50 that uh, that uh, Hilton Head Prep gave up last week. That's that's a tough number to start the season off with, but we'll see what they do the rest of this one. 4:44 remaining and counting in the first quarter of a scoreless game. First down. And here's a run towards the middle and another flag. Yeah, as we see so often in these games, Mark, as we talk about it, it seems like every week we get a lot of penalties early on. Yep. And it's often uh, due to just intensity. You know, players come out, they've been thinking about this, they've been preparing for it all week. And they come out and, and sometimes can be too intense and not focus as much on fundamentals. Buford Academy in this series leading three games to nothing. This is the first game at BA. They're averaging 41.6 points per game in this series against HHP, and they've only given up 17. Nick Schuford, 9-4, and four going back to the creation of Max Preps as far as his record. 32-7 win in the Independent Bowl that we had a couple of years ago. Dustin, Dustin Etheridge 0-1 versus BA last year. Nick Schuford 5-2 in home games versus Hilton Head Prep. 4-2 in road games overall in his career in that 9-4 record as it's second down coming up with 4-10 to play in the opening quarter of a scoreless ball game. You mentioned Nick Schuford, and we've got quarterback Dietrich Schuford. You know, isn't it funny, Marcus, how, uh, what a difference a year makes? You know, we no were here on this field last year. And uh, that was Nick and Dietrich were the on the, we had. They were on the other sidelines they were. at the time with uh, Thomas Hayward. Schuford's THA teams averaged 28 points scored and 19.8 given up in the 13 matchups with the 9 and 4 record against Hilton Head Prep. Going back again to the creation of Max Preps, not much on the left side as we're seeing a lot of hard hitting action. 3.40 to go in the first quarter, second down coming up here in the Independent Bowl. Marcus, Daniel, Larry, and the rest of our crew with you here on WHHI Sports. And Marcus, we talked uh, a lot with uh, Dustin Etheridge, the coach of uh, the Dolphins before the game. He said, uh, you know, they the, the team had still a high morale uh, all week in practice. They're very young and they're trying to get better every day. And the, the keys, he said, to this game are going to be able to, the, the ability to stop that the BA running attack. Here's a scramble by Schufert. He's going to scramble some more. He's going to stay on his feet. He's going to cut it up field. 39, 40, 45, still on his feet. And Schuford running around like Superman. He goes into Hilton Head Prep territory and finally down after a huge Kevin Samir and State Farm first down at the 45 yard line. Dietrich says uh, Green and uh, Porter aren't the only guys with wheels. He, he, he looked a little bit like Christian Tilton on that run from uh, John Paul from last he week. Sure didn't he sure did. You know, that's just uh, just great awareness um, and individual effort. Great athletic play for uh, Dietrich Schuford. You mentioned the thoughts from Etheridge, the thoughts from 
One Nick Schufert got to cut down on the penalties, got to play better on special teams. Offensive and defensive lines on both sides are key matchups to look out for. And obviously very good start as I talked about with him on the pregame in the first couple of weeks with the 2-0 record winning from come from behind efforts. Some great plays and, and great team wins, but there's still a lot to clean up for this team in 2A, which could be one of the best in Skiza, if not the best. Hilton at prep coming in at 3A, so this is another non-region matchup in Skiza. We saw a non-region matchup with THA and JP2 last week, and we'll see another non-region matchup in our first high school league game next week as Hilton Head hosts Buford. That's next week here on WHHI as here's Green again down the sideline, cutting back in slightly left side near the yard markers, and he's near the 30-yard line, but we have another flag. Well, just as you said, and Coach Schufer talked about it pre-game, was penalties. You know, just, uh, you know, sometimes the, 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 the biggest opponent is, is yourself, and right now um, the Eagles just continue to shoot themselves in the foot with penalties. I mean, Marcus, this has got to be five or six already oh, he's that have gone the Eagles, that have gone against the Eagles, right. and uh, they're going to definitely need to clean that up because, you know, here we are at 218 in the first quarter, and to surprise to all of us, I think we thought uh, the Eagles would have a few points on the board so far. We want to thank Chicken Salad Chick, our tailgate sponsor, and I will have Daniel do that in just a second after this second down play with 2.05 remaining. We actually had Chicken Salad Chick tonight as here's a scramble by Schufert. He's gonna throw a little lob, and it's caught by Devin Fripp. Fripp, the wide receiver, gonna get down near the 30-yard line. Let's hear again from Chicken Salad Chick. Chicken Salad Chick of Bluffton, delicious, scratch made, craveable, favorites served from the heart. There is Kevin Libby. Caleb. Kevin Libby, the man. doing a little bit of everything. Sideline <laughs> interviews, a little bit of camera work. Wanna thank our sideline report sponsor, Copper Frog, your full service car wash on Hilton Head Island. All right, the Eagles offense, you know, despite the penalties, are starting to assert themselves and uh, create some space between them and the defenders over on the Dolphins side. 128 to go. Here's a scramble up the middle, and it's not a whole lot going, but still some room up the middle. And it is number 13, Diedrich Schufert at quarterback with a nice little scramble. Schuford's son, Diedrich, obviously the quarterback, passed for 1,686 yards, 18 touchdowns, six picks, added 794 yards, seven touchdowns on 82 carries as a sophomore last season against THA. Yeah, and Schufer or rather, at THA. Here's Schuford trying to get some momentum forward. He's not going to go very far at all, as a couple of guys there on the stop, one being number 55. That is indeed Cole Mustard. That's a great name, man. It, it is a great name. Makes me think of Plockman's. <laughs> Plockman's. Spicy Brown in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, that's, that's for my Uncle Chip in Charlotte, North Carolina. Wheeze, that one's for you. Shout out to Uncle Chip. Uh, Jake Sheehan in there, also on the tackle for uh, the Dolphins, the junior offensive line lineman and Here's tight end. Schufert scrambling around, and he's going to go down and down hard. 15 seconds to go. I knew I was going to get a Plockman's reference in there at some point in the early season. It just happened to be in week two. Nine yeah. seconds and counting. Well, I'll tell you, if you're uh, Dustin Etheridge and the Hilton Head Dolphins, those guys in the red and white have to be really pleased with what they've done here in the first quarter. That's the end of the first quarter. We go to the second. Scoreless here at Merritt Field on the campus of BA. The Independent Bowl rolls on right after this on WHHI Sports TV. Now open, the all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head is open. It's a new state-of-the-art Kia dealership that will change the way you think of buying a car. Shop America's favorite line of SUVs and cars and choose from a special grand opening selection of new 2023 Tellurides, Seltos, Sportage, and more. The all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head is open, located at 170 and 278 next to Tractor Supply in Bluffton. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners 
from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. This is the mower that cut the lawn that became the place their kids grew up. The legendary Xmark Laser Z is the zero-turn mower more landscape pros trust. For cut quality, comfort, and reliability, Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Laser Z online for special finance offers available now. Here we are with the Main Stage Community Theater Community Leader Award. Our recipient this week, Coach Mark Clifford, a Low Country legend. Coach, thank you so much for your service to this community. You are why we love football so much. You make it fun to watch. Let me give you, Daniel, the stage to present Coach. Coach, on behalf of Main Stage Community Theater, which I've been on the board for uh, about eight years now, we couldn't be more honored to present you with the Community Leader Award for this week. Congratulations. Well, thank you so thank you so much. It's been a, been a great run and uh, I've enjoyed working with every any all the kids in the community, every different size, shape, anything you could imagine, teaching them how to drive and teaching them how to play football. <laughs> and you probably paved the way for that state championship last year in Buford. <laughs> well, I'm not going to take credit for anything. You know that. <laughs> Coach, you got your uh, start here 1981. I imagine you've seen a lot of changes in football style, a lot of changes in hairstyle. Mm -hmm. What's consistent about these players here in the Low Country that makes well, them amongst all others better? Well, you know me. I, I didn't pay attention to the changes, of course, <laughs> the offense I ran and the, and the program I ran. And, uh, and uh, I'm an old, old school guy. So, <laughs> well, so happy off. you're with us. It's Let's hand on back to uh, this guy, D.C., with Marcus. We welcome you back. Second quarter here at the Independent Bowl. No score. Eagles and the Dolphins. There's a deep ball downfield, and it's going to be incomplete. It was intended for Zeke Gonzalez. Well, he had him there, Marcus. He did. Just a little overthrown. You know, we're talking about Dietrich Schufert at quarterback. We've been calling his game since he was a freshman. He's He's been a starter right. since since he was a freshman. It's one of those guys that, you know, the opposing team's got to think, when is this guy ever going to graduate? He's a, he's a baller for sure. Reminder, coming up, we've got the Stokes of Toyota halftime report. Visit Stokes Toyota, or the Stokes Toyota of Buford halftime report, rather, your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience, Stokes Toyota of Buford. So, HHP with the football, and a man goes in motion as here's a little bit of a run to the left side, not much doing for number 19. That is Brody Hauscher. Second down and 10 coming up. And let us hear from our community leader sponsor. Be happy to do that, partner. Main Stage Community Theater. Engage the artist in anyone. Inspire the arts in everyone. We'll talk a little bit more about our community leader recipient, Marcus, um, uh, Coach Mark Clifford here in a little bit. Yes, he was one of a kind and has been one of a kind for a long time. There's a handoff, HHP trying to gain some ground and they're not gonna do much. Nowhere on that play, third down coming up. And uh, what, what are some keys, seeing these teams kind of getting to know each other a little bit here through the first quarter. What are you looking forward to as the, the quarterback that? that you are, what, what are you looking forward to here in the second quarter? 
Well, I'm, I'm really surprised to, to, to have seen both teams uh, go to the air as much as they have. I thought yeah. we'd see a little bit more uh, run game to try to do some clock control. But both quarterbacks have arms. They have a lot of prowess there um, and great receivers. So not too much of a surprise. And here is a pass from Harmer. It's caught. And it is caught by number six on the other side in the other roster. That is Jason Britschke, tight end. And it'll be fourth down. 9.45 remaining in the first half. Yeah, the Dolphins, I, I like uh, the idea of Dustin Etheridge and staff to go to the run game as, uh, oh, Fernandez down again, limping oh off. But uh, you know, I like the idea, but the key is going to be getting first downs and grinding some clock to keep those great backs and that great offense off the field. Fat Babies, another tailgating sponsor as we've got another kick. And this one's going to go out of bounds about the 45-yard line. Fat Babies of Hilton Head, your family-friendly neighborhood pizza joint. And they've got a sandwich that I got last week. I'll get it again next week. It's called the Sausage Guy, and it is awesome. Did you put any Plotchman's mustard on that Sausage Guy, buddy? Nah. It, it just goes all, all natural with the sausage, <laughs> the peppers, and onions. That's all you need. 9.15 to go in the first half here of the Independent Bowl in a scoreless game, if you can believe that or not. Yeah, I'm, I'm still uh, a bit surprised, but uh, the Eagles are going to get great field position on a s somewhat of a shanked punt there by the Dolphins. So we'll see if uh, they can finally get this thing down the field and uh, into pay dirt. Again, 9.15 to go, second quarter. First down and 10. Ball is about the 47-yard line. It is botched on the snap. Schufert's up with it. He's wheeling around trying to get something, and he gains about two. It'll be second down and seven, so a gain of three. You know, Marcus, um, it is very early in the season, and it's not uncommon to see sloppy play, sloppy execution, flags. But, you know, sometimes there's the letdown factor. Buford Academy had two big wins against two really good football teams, and they're favored to win this game big. So there could be a little bit of a lack of concentration going on. Here's a run to the outside by number two, Jackson Porter. Porter down the sideline. Jackson Porter going to run a man over, and he's out of bounds about the 40-yard line. Sean Hardy and William Howell are the two ADs for HHP and BA, respectively. Kevin had a chance to talk with William Howell earlier, and uh, Betsy McDaniel actually interviewed Sean Hardy recently on the WHHI TV Daily News, and Sean seems really impressive. We know about William Howell and what he's done. Very impressive in his own right. Obviously, the two coaches, Nick Schufer, Dustin Etheridge, the heads of school, Paul W. Horgan for HHP, and the head of the upper school, Tina Webb Browning for HHP, and the head of school for BA. I'll have for you in just a second as there's a run up the middle. Not much doing there, but a little bit of steam going for Devonte Green, the head of school for the Buford Academy Eagles, is one Carol Ann Richards. Timeout, Hilton Head Prep. We'll take it with them and be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. My name is Quentin Miles, sales coordinator for Charleston, Bluffton, Hilton Head, Beaufort. Aflac has a proprietary cloud-based enrollment platform available to you at no employer cost. We help you manage your hiring and retention competitiveness, and we help your employees manage the rising costs of healthcare affordably. I've got 17 years experience to help you make the right decision with your employee benefits. Contact me today for more information. Having trouble sleeping? FWDG has all the things for your best night's sleep. Let's go get a sleep report and find your perfect mattress. You can get mattresses for more or less, ones that lift and sheets that pass the test. FWDG for the best rest. As we welcome you back, our timeout sponsor is Kia of Hilton Head. If you want to pay more for a car that's your business, if you want to pay less, that's Kia Country's business. Second down at 10. 
Here's a run to the outside, and Buford Academy trying to get some gain on the ground. It's Jackson Porter, and he's going to have a nice little run to the right side. And that is a first down brought to you by, by uh, State Farm and Kevin Severe. 7.56 to go in the quarter. Again, a reminder with Kevin Severe and State Farm. He's there for all your home and auto insurance needs. 7.47 to go in the first half. Well, I, I think we're seeing B.A. settle into their offensive scheme now, Marcus, a little bit, and getting the ball to, the, to their playmakers. You know, Jackson Porter. Oh. Here's a short run up the middle, and not much doing again for B.A. Hilton at prep doing a great job minimizing the big play as number 11 there on the stop for HHP. That is Cody Hughes. We were makes, sorry, Daniel, it makes me think of the great TV show Back in the day, um, not the too distant future or too distant past, but Downton Abbey with uh, Mrs. Yeah. Hughes. Mrs. Hughes. And company. I'm sure you were a Downton Abbey fan. I was. Me too. 7 one to go. Here's a little run up the middle. Again, number two, Jackson Porter going to take it. Just gain a couple inside seven to go in the first half. Yeah, they're resting Devontae Green, wait, waiting for he's he's getting his rest and his wheels ready for the for the big break. So Jackson Porter's carrying uh, most of the load here on this drive. You know, Jackson Porter. We talked about Devontae Green's numbers from last year. Jackson Porter had 165 carries for over a thousand yards, 12 wow. TDs, and six receptions for oh. 125 yards and three TDs. Wow. These two guys are studs. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you say? What, what does J Justin Jarrett call them? Beast. They're, they're dogs. They're dogs. They are that's dogs. What they are. They're and dogs. That's not D-O-G. That's D-A-W-G, folks. <laughs> Six seventeen remaining. Again, we saw JJ just a short time ago. There's a little screen pass to the left side. It is caught by number five, Zeke Gonzalez. He's going to break move. away. Up the seam. Touchdown, B.A. Zeke Gonzalez makes it 6 nothing. 6.06 to go in the first half. And that is a TCL TD. I'll do it again. TCL, you can step up with them, the technical college of the low country. Well, it was just a matter of time, and, uh, you know, they had shot themselves in the foot a lot with penalties in the first quarter, but you just kind of felt uh, they would start uh, settling into the game, settling into their reads and assignments, and, and clearly they, that was a very impressive drive. I like Dietrich Schuford getting the ball out of his hands quickly and letting his athletes make, uh, make plays out in space. Grady Lamb to attempt the extra point. Number nine, the snap is good, hold is good, kick is blocked, and that'll do it. Six nothing, B.A. on the touchdown run. We're gonna take a timeout, be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Appliances by Design was founded on Hilton Head and is serving the low country. We're local owners, industry professionals, and we're here to help. We have all the brands that you love. And we have the brand you can't get anywhere else in this area. If you're ready for a new refrigerator, dishwasher, stove. Even washers and dryers. Get the quality you need at the best prices. Plus we do delivery, installation, warranty work, so you get service like you've never had before. Appliances by Design. 20 Hatton Place, Hilton Head Island, next to Barnes & Noble. Come see us at Copper Frog Car Wash, a family owned full service and express service car wash. Our hand washed thorough cleaning service will have your car looking like new. Our goal is to have you back on the road in 20 minutes. We have everything from express washes to platinum services for you to choose from. Located on the north end of the island, we offer great locals discounts and monthly memberships that will keep your car always looking copper frog clean. Come see us today. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today, only at O.C. Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. From the Copper Frog sideline, Kevin Libby here with Portia Seiler and Maddie Nelson. Yes. The ladies are respectively the assistant cheer coach and cheer captain. Ladies, tell me what we have going on tonight. So tonight we have a nice halftime for the boys, and then um, just the usual sidelines with occasional chants for the suit section. Portia, I know she's humble. Tell me about Maddie. Oh, Maddie's amazing. I have known Maddie when I first started coaching in sixth grade. I uh, start with Maddie. She's a super leader here on the campus, and I know she'll go on to do great things in college of her choice. That's so wonderful. Maddie, tell us, 
What do you want to say about your teammates who aren't on camera that you think makes them pretty special? I think that's just going back to what VA is. You know, we're such a family here and just accepting the fact that everyone's different for great reasons. You know, it's good to practice. It's good to play. It's good to do our thing on the field. So very well said. Thanks for making <laughs> us feel, feel so at home here. Of course. We're glad to have you all. From the Copper Frog sideline, Kevin Libby. Back to Marcus and back to Daniel. We are back with 6.06 to go in the first half. Finally, BA on the or finally somebody's on the board. It's BA with the Zeke Gonzalez play and run for the touchdown. There's the kickoff, and it's going to go to about the five yard line where it'll be returned by Hilton Ed Prep. And returning it for Prep is number five. That is AJ Barger, senior quarterback, wide receiver, defensive back. And Prep's going to get good field position down by six with six minutes to go in the opening half. And Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. They are our postcard sponsor this season on WHHI Sports. Six minutes to go in the first half, six nothing. Big drive here, Daniel, for Hilton Ed Prep. They're gonna have to try to find a way to cut some of this clock down and get away with some points, I think, in order to keep the momentum, because BA looks like they're starting to get their will going a little bit and get after Hilton Head Prep. Yeah, the best defense the Dolphins have is, is that clock. They've got to grind down that clock and keep this explosive offense off the field as long as possible. And right now, they just haven't been able to convert any first downs. That's Armor. going to be critical for them. And, you know, the, 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 the longer the defense has to stay out there, Marcus, you know this, the, the more tired they're going to get. A lot of these guys, almost all of them are going both ways. So the, the later this game gets, the longer that B.A. can stay on the field and wear this Dolphin offense down, that's going to be to their detriment. Harmer spiked that one in the dirt on first down and 10. It'll be second down with 5.56 to go in the quarter. I do think they're going to have to stay in, uh, uh, with Harmer. Yeah, no uh, doubt. And very much like we just saw the touchdown pass from Dietrich Schufert, um, get the ball out of the hands quick and let right. some of his athletes create. Here's a handoff. And it's going to go to the outside, now taking it towards the middle, and he was down. Nice run up the middle for Hilton Head Prep, getting closer to that first down, if not having it. 5.43 to go there in the second quarter. 6 nothing B.A. with the edge here in the Independent Bowl. Yeah, good, good play, good push by the offensive line there. They found a little bit of space through that uh, line and through the backers of the Eagles. And, boy, I tell you, if they can convert this, that can give an offense new life. You just got to get one, and uh, that can sometimes change the momentum. Third down, 35-yard line. 5-17 remaining in the first half. Out of the shotgun goes Harmer, and it looks like B.A. was all over that on the defensive side going way too quick and jumping off sides or encroaching. Definitely an offsides penalty. Yeah, this is the kind of game if you're uh, if you're on the Eagles sidelines that can really get under a coach's skin. You know, lot lots of uh, unforced errors, if you will, by the Eagles early right. on in this game. You know, they're they're allowing the Dolphins to stick around, and that can be dangerous. Sure could. Third down. Here's a handoff up the middle. Dolphins trying to get near that first down marker, maybe about five or six on the play. As number 19 touching the football. That is Brody Hauser, the running back, 453 remaining. He is also listed as a linebacker. He is a sophomore inside 450 at 448 to go. Hauser going to go to the sideline. Just as I was saying, Marcus, this is exactly, if you're the offensive coaching, coaching staff of the Dolphins, this is exactly what you want to see. They're no getting a little it. bit of a push. They're creating some holes and uh, getting some positive yardage, grinding that clock. 430 to go. Here's a run towards the left side and not much doing to about midfield for Hilton Head Prep offensively. The big maulers on the defense for Buford Academy. One guy that we haven't mentioned yet is Alex Williams who plays on the offensive line. He also plays middle linebacker and he is a beast of a man there on that Buford Academy football team. A huge guy and definitely a big part of this team as a senior. Number 68 there. Yeah, Buford uh, Academy's got a great defense. They're quick. They're tenacious. Um, they get to the ball. So uh, let's keep an eye on number 68 tonight. Barger goes in motion. Out of the shotgun goes Harmer. He's going to hand it off left side and maybe just a couple. Not much doing. Maybe to midfield for Hilton Head Prep. 
And it's going to be the 342 mark here in the first half. Again, a reminder, Jessica Surrett is going to have her interview coming up at the break. Stokes Toyota of Beaufort halftime report. And uh, she's going to be with Michael Lind. We'll also hear from Betsy McDaniel over at Fat Babies entering the halftime show. And then Daniel and I with our first half thoughts. It's all straight ahead here in just about three minutes and 20 seconds of game time action here at the Independent Bowl, 6-0 B.A. Marcus, we're just sitting, sitting here looking at this clock, winding at 3-12, 3-11, 3-10. Boy, the Dolphins got, this is exactly what they wanted to do. Absolutely. Dustin Etheridge is exerting his game plan, and um, six to nothing, they're right there. We've got a timeout. Hilton Head Prep calls it. We'll be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. If you want to protect your loved ones from additional stress and expense, Plan ahead with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Planning ahead tells your loved ones exactly what you want for your final wishes and protects them from rising costs. Make your final arrangements today with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Visit lowcountryfuneral.com. That's lowcountryfuneral.com. We welcome you back, 3.08 to go. A reminder, USCB is our student community leader sponsor. USCB, more than you imagine. And here's a little pass that it's caught by Barger. Not much doing, but he does make a fine acrobatic catch. In on the stop is Grady Lamb, the tight end field goal kicker in there on defense as well. You had a chance to uh, talk to Mark Clifford a little while ago. You've got some info on the great coach. We'll get that after this third down play with 2.46 and counting remaining. Third down and 10, ball at the 20. Hilton Head Prep lining up. This is a big play for them now. Yeah, it looks to be a little bit more like third and maybe. And, and I say third down and 10, that's what I see. It's a yeah, little bit more than that. Maybe. Five, third and six. A little bit less than that, I should say. Third down and about seven, we'll say. Out of the shotgun goes Harmer. Gets a snap and he's gonna hand it off. And this is going to go to number two. I believe that's Cargill, and he's going to go down after a couple of yards. He went down big time, and now you've got that info on Mark Clifford. Yeah, Coach Clifford, a legend around these parts. It was my honor, you know, uh, Main Stage Community Theater is our community leader sponsor to give uh, Coach Clifford that award. You know, after his legendary career at Beaufort, yeah, he ran the B.A team here that included winning the Skiza eight-man state championship How about that? and guiding the program through a successful transition to traditional football and handing off the keys to uh, one Nick Schufert. And there's a punt on fourth down and 10 by Prep, and it's going to take Great a nice punt. bounce, and it's going to be picked up at the one-yard line. My goodness, was that risky by Devin Fripp. He's going to get out to about the nine-yard line with a minute and 32 seconds remaining. In the opening half, again, Betsy McDaniel will be at Fat Babies, and we'll have an interview from her entering halftime. Jessica Surrett with Michael Lynn at Stokes Toyota of Beaufort, and then Daniel and I with our thoughts. That's all straight ahead on the Stokes Toyota of Beaufort halftime report, 132 remaining in the quarter. What an outstanding punt. And uh, Devontae Green, you know, had to make a decision there. Do I pick this up, or do I see if it rests at the one? And... You know, at least, I don't think that was Devontae Green. That was actually number four, Devin Fripp. But, uh, wow, you know, special teams and uh, defense. Right now, Hilton Head Prep is playing both pretty well. And here's a run to the outside. It is number one, Devontae Green. He's not going to get much. That's athlete on athlete there. Green versus A.J. Barger, probably the two best athletes on the respective teams, and Barger makes a great defensive play. We saw a big play by Gonzalez earlier. As of the moment, that could be our Noble Mattress play of the game. Noble Mattress and more. Visit us in Bluffton or Hilton Head for a quality mattress or quality mattresses at affordable prices. So we'll see what happens here with a minute 26 remaining. 
Here is a run up the middle and taking it for a handful of yards is number two, Jackson Porter. Yeah, Nick Shuford may be content, being that they're so deep in their own territory, he may be content in uh, just winding this uh, clock out here in the first half. 117, we've got a timeout, 6 nothing BA, back in a moment on WHHI. Come to Fat Babies for game day and root for your favorite team with a platter that comes with a bucket of beer. The Gamecocks platter has 24 boneless wings, four flavors, fries, and celery. The Tiger platter is two medium pizzas, four toppings, garlic knots, and marinara. The Bulldog platter has six hot dogs, fries, chili cheese, and all the fixins. And for a football feast, the Buckeye platter. Ribs, fries, mac and cheese, and slaw. Each platter is only 40 bucks and comes with a bucket of beer. So whoever you're rooting for, game day at Fat Babies is sure to be a touchdown. Life is grand with a piano. Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron and Heron Piano Consignment serves Bluffton, Savannah, Charleston, Beaufort, and Hilton Head for piano sales, rentals, and service. Kauai Piano Gallery in Bluffton offers the full line of Kauai products, from hybrids and digitals to concert grand pianos. Quality pre-owned inventory includes Kauai, Steinway, Yamaha, Baldwin, and more. Also now offering lessons. Head to Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron.com. Did you know at FWDG, we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. And we are back here with a couple of yards gained by number 13, Diedrich Schuford. 1.07 to go. Reminder, the Stokes Toyota Buford Halftime Report coming up in just a few moments. Well, I've been saying it all half, Marcus. I'm, I'm quite surprised to see this score, six to nothing. So uh, Dolphins can hold them here's, at that number. Here's a run to the outside at Schuford. He's going to take it and get some good yardage near the sideline. A first down brought to you by Kevin Severe of State Farm for all your home and auto insurance needs. Visit Kevin Severe of State Farm Insurance today. Now 46 B seconds to go. BA is going to go into a hurry up offense here to see if they can't uh, get some kind of score here before the half. Ball to the 35 yard line. Low snap. Shuford corrals it. He's going to step up. He's going to air it out deep. And it is overthrown, intended for Devin Fripp. And it'll be second down with 32 seconds remaining. I like the play call. Absolutely, I do too. Yeah, 32 seconds left, uh, you know, a vo void of a fumble or an interception. Can't really hurt yourself. And if you're going right. deep, it's just as good as a punt. Absolutely. 6 nothing BA over HHP. It's the Independent Bowl on WHHI Sports TV. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Jackamont, Maria Soden, Jeremy Pope, Joseph Keith, Kevin Libby, the Libster, with us as well. 32 seconds remaining. Snap is low, corralled by Shuford, gives it off to Porter. Porter to the outside, right side, down the sideline. He's got a cowboy and now blockers in front. He's still on his feet, bouncing off oh tacklers. My God. Still going inside oh the 20 my. and down near the 10-yard line. Wow. A huge run for Jackson Porter and a State Farm Kevin Sevier first down with 17 seconds to go. Marcus, we said it about Tony O'Banner and Christian Tilton last week. You can't stop them. You can only hope to contain them. Timeout, B.A. We'll be right back. 17 seconds left in the first half on WHHI Sports TV. As a parent to another parent, TCL makes it very easy for you to succeed. TCL is definitely the smart choice. We really work with all of our students. It's the most affordable it's ever been. You have supportive staff here. We focus on practical teaching and hands-on application. You're going to be able to get to know your peers. You're going to get to know your instructors. It's a great transitional period for students coming out of high school. It is just a great school all around. If you want to protect your loved ones from additional stress and expense, plan ahead with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Planning ahead tells your loved ones exactly what you want for your final wishes and protects them from rising costs. Make your final arrangements today with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Visit lowcountryfuneral.com. That's lowcountryfuneral.com. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. 
Call or come see me today, only at O.C. Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. 17 seconds to go, ball at the 22-yard line. First down and 10 B.A. after the huge play there by Jackson Porter on the ground. Snap goes to Schufert. He sets up out of the gun, scrambles. He's in trouble, and down he goes. Boy, great play there. Wow. 75 with the tackle. That is Tyler Britschke with the sack. Eight seconds. Seven, six, snap, spike. and a spike with four seconds to go. Part of that uh, Jackson Porter run, what would uh, the great uh, Chris Berman of ESPN have said about that? He would say he's rumbling, he's a bubbling, he's stumbling. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All the way down the field. Oh, Not that's... like that good old Boomer. There's another flag brought Boomer, to you by Affleck. Yeah, what a beauty he is. I tell you what, a lot of people think of him with Sunday NFL countdown, NFL primetime, all that stuff. But I tell you what, he did a heck of a job with the home run derby and the Major League Baseball playoffs, too. Well, we were talking about Mark Clifford being a legend. You know, legend's not a not a superlative that you can throw around too easily. Right. Um, but Berman. Oh, Boomer. He's Absolute a Absolute le legend. He's a legend. No doubt about it. He's just a, a cartoon character calling sports. They wave the flag off, so four seconds left. Six-nothing B.A. And thank you, Jeremy Pope, for the assist on that. Four seconds left, first half, 6 nothing. Buford Academy as they might look to punch it in the end zone again. Well, with four seconds, obviously you're not confident enough with your kicking game to try a, a field goal here, so they're going to try to get a score. And here's Schufert, out of the gun, steps back, going to lob it up, fade to the end zone. Oh, that's incomplete. interference. Intended for Jackson Porter. I don't see any flags. Oh, they got away with one there. They got away with one. That's the end of the first half. 6-0 in favor of BA over HHP. The halftime report is next, courtesy of Stokes Toyota of Beaufort. But first, let's go to Betsy McDaniel over at Fat Babies. We'll be back with more right after this. We are here at Fat Baby's Pizza with Eric Overstake, who is the owner. Thank you for having us. My pleasure. Glad yeah. you guys came again. So um, I know you're one of our tailgating sponsors for high school football, but mm -hmm. we're going to talk about college football today because you've got something really fun going on we this sure year. We sure do. Tell us about it. All right. Well, we were figured we got Clemson Tigers, South Carolina Gamecocks as local teams, but we have Georgia Bulldog fans. We have Ohio State Buckeye fans. So we really wanted to promote Saturday football this year. Uh, so we came up with four different platters for each of the teams. Um, and we kind of coincided some beers with them. And so we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do a, a Gamecocks platter, which is basically gonna be our chicken, boneless chicken wings. It's gonna come in four different flavors. You get ranch and blue cheese with it, celery and a bunch of fries, and a bucket of beer. And all the platters that I'm gonna mention are uh, gonna run $40 for the platter. Uh, and you get refills of either the beer or the food for another $20. Uh, should feed probably three to four people uh, with no problem. Um, we're also doing a, we're going to call it the Buckeye, I guess, is going to be the rib platter. It's going to be ribs, french fries, mac and cheese, coleslaw, uh, again, with a bucket of beer. Uh, we're going to do the Clemson Tigers with uh, pizza, since we do sell some good pizza. Um, it's two medium pizzas, up to four toppings, and a bucket of beer. Uh, and it comes with a plate of garlic knots also. The last one, the Bulldogs. Six hot dogs, french fries, chili, cheese, toppings for the hot dogs, and a bucket of beer, again. Uh, so that's our that's our big thing for Saturdays, and we will be running also uh, our food happy hour all day long. So that is the Nacho Babies happy hour. Well, it all looks and smells amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for sharing with us, and make sure you're getting in on Saturday for football. College football season is right here, and this is a great deal. Not done. Go Cox. Did you know that the human brain doesn't fully develop until the age of 25? Substance use harms brain development, decision making, and leads to addiction. E-cigarettes negatively affect oxygen supply, endurance, and attention. Marijuana affects reaction time, concentration, and decision making. 
Alcohol harms endurance, judgment, and complex motor skills. All these negatively affect brain function and development. Make smart choices. Don't let your team down. University of South Carolina Beaufort has three beautiful locations near the beach, Bluffton, Beaufort, and Hilton Head Island. Our students find our small classes and personalized instruction very rewarding. The USCB Sand Sharks have added men's and women's basketball, and we are excited to be new provisional members of NCAA Division II and the Peach Belt Conference. Fins up from USCB. You asked and we listened. Noble Mattress is growing. We've opened a second location in the village at Main Street. For those who didn't want to cross the bridge, we're now open on Hilton Head Island. Locally, family owned and operated, ranked number one by our customers in service, price, and quality. We have over 250 years in manufacturing in our showroom. Our relationship with our customers does not end with the sale. We can save you 55 to 80% off retail, and that's Noble. Did you know at FWDG we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. Welcome in to the Stokes Toyota Buford Halftime Report. Marcus Welsh along with Daniel Court. 6-0 BA leads at the end of the half. Let's recap it real quick. Tell you what, a lot of just big offensive smash mouth and defensive smash mouth football. Yeah, both defenses deserve a lot of credit. You know, uh, for BA, you know, a lot of uh, mistakes you'd expect early in the season. I think there's a little bit of a hangover because they've had two big victories against two good football teams. I think they'll settle down. Coach Schufert will get them focused coming out in the second half. But if you're, if you're the Hilton Head uh, prep Dolphins and, and, and Coach Etheridge, this is a perfect half. You know, right. JJ said, Justin Jarrett said on your podcast today, you know, sometimes if you let a team that's a significant underdog hang around, you know, you get later stages of that game the, the favored team can tighten up. So the longer that the Dolphins can hang around, the better. Give us a quick player to watch in the second half and a quick key. Well, I think Devontae Green is set to break one out. They've been putting uh, most of the load on Jackson uh, Porter. So I think Devontae Green is fresh. He's ready to break one with that, with that speed. I think for prep, Wyatt Harmer getting the ball out of his hands quick to his big tight end. And of course, their best athlete, A.J. Barger. Let's send it to Buford and Stokes Toyota. Jessica Surratt is with Michael Lynn right now. Hey y'all, welcome in. We are at Stokes Toyota Beaufort for your drive of the week. I am joined by the general manager, Michael Lynn. Michael, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. It's beautiful outside, a little hot, but football that's okay. Season. It's football season, it's gonna cool off soon. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, for folks that don't know and those who do know, just a little bit of a reminder of your all's buy head program because it's a really, really good program. Yeah, so so the market's still really constricted on most of the models that everybody's wanting. Mm -hmm. so, so even though we have a few more cars on the lot than what we used to, it's still predominantly not what everybody's wanting um, in some regards. So sure. it's really important right now. It's even more critical now than it was this time last year because of the interest rates. Mm -hmm. um, so what we can do is we can, you know, we can lock you in on a car. You know exactly what you're getting. We don't sell for a penny over sticker. We don't add useless addendums. Yeah. You know, both markets on either side of us, you know, still participate in those things. So we don't, uh, we don't do those things. So it's worth the drive. Um, but we can also kind of lock some interest rates in going into the following months you know if it's a if it's a late month port arrival and the vehicle is going to show up early the next month we can okay. kind of lock you in and save you that money so before you can those... get that before it goes goes up yeah like correct we try to in. save you some money on interest you know interest rates money i mean it's it's all it's all the same it so. is yeah and that's you know if you're if you're financing for three years five years whatever that looks like that's 
it that's, adds up. It adds up, yeah. absolutely. Well, how does that work? Is it like an ongoing list? And, and if, if it comes up, you call that person and give them an opportunity? Like, how does that work? Yeah, so, so the way we do it, we have two we have two avenues. We have a refundable and a non-refundable. Okay. If you get on our refundable list, we call you and say, hey, this is what we got. Here's the exact specs. Do you want to lock it in? If you do, we lock it in. That be, that deposit then becomes non-refundable. Okay. Because we're you know we're, we're removing that from the market. We're not going to let anybody else buy that car sure. from, from under you. So yeah. So we want to make sure you know if we're committed to you, we, we want you to be committed to us. Absolutely. Uh, That's wonderful. Well, you guys come check out their Biohead program. Give Michael and then the folks, friendly folks at Stokes, a call. And this is your drive of the week. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. University of South Carolina Beaufort has three beautiful locations near the beach, Bluffton, Beaufort, and Hilton Head Island. Our students find our small classes and personalized instruction very rewarding. The USCB Sand Sharks have added men's and women's basketball, and we are excited to be new provisional members of NCAA Division II and the Peach Belt Conference. Fins up from USCB. Having trouble sleeping? FWDG has all the things for your best night's sleep. Let's go get a sleep report and find your perfect mattress. You can get mattresses for more or less, ones that lift, and sheets that pass the test. FWDG for the best rest. With the Stokes Toyota Halftime Show, Kevin Libby here with Carol Ann Richards, head of school for the lovely Buford Academy. Carol Ann, thanks for being on with yes, me. Yes, thank you for having me. So this is fun. It's a Friday night. Everybody's here. Tell me about why Buford Academy is the difference for all these kids here. Well, number one, Buford Academy is a family. That is who we are. And I'm so proud to be a part of this school. I'm proud of the accomplishments that we've had over all the years. I've been here for 16 years and we're just getting better each and every year. It's a great family event. And come out on Friday night and support your team, support your school. It's a great way to do that. If there's a parent out there watching that's not yet involved in the community, tell me about what they can do if they come out. We, would lo we love parent volunteers. So you will definitely be part of, of our family. Uh, once you join, your kids are here. You can come be a part of volunteering here at any of our things we have going on, from working the gate to selling snow cones. Oh yeah, um, working multiple in concessions, flavors. Mm -hmm. um, line, I mean everything, line guides, everything, yeah. line guides, everything. So chain um, gang. you know, chain gang. It, it takes everybody to put this on, and oh. um, we need everybody. Carol Ann Richards, what a show you put on. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you all for coming. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Love for the Stoke Silly Halftime, let's say it back to the guys. Hi, I'm Anna, Chicken Salad Chick, and we are ready for the 2023 football season. Stop by today and grab a quick chick, some cookies, a gallon of iced tea or a fresh made lemonade to enjoy at your tailgate party. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653.
welcome you back to the Independent Bowl. It's the second half on WHHI Sports TV. Marcus Walsh, Jeremy Pope, Daniel Court, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamont, Maria Soden, Joseph Keith. We're all with you here on this Friday night under the lights here at Merritt Field. The kickoff to BA, and it's going to be returned by number four, Devin Fripp. Devin Fripp going to break away up the middle, and he's got a huge return, and BA going to start off with great field position as our presenting sponsor of this one is Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI Sports all year long, first down and 10 BA with tremendous field position. Yeah, if you're the Eagles, the only way to start any better in this half is to take it all the way. But boy, that what a great return there by Fripp to put them right in position. First down and 10, and the handoff goes up the middle. Breaking free is Jackson Porter. Santa Claus, it's Christmas. Touchdown, B.A. Ho, ho, ho. Jackson, Santa Claus, Porter. Ho, 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 indeed. Well, that didn't what take, a run. That didn't take long, did it, partner? No, it did not. We were just talking with uh, Kevin Libby and Jeremy Pope, Larry Jackamot here about uh, this is the second good, tight game we've had in two weeks. BA, 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 maybe they heard us. Maybe they did. 11.41 remaining in the third. Boy, these two running backs are just, that's a tall order, isn't it, Marcus? Number it, one it and sure number is. two. Whew. And we'll see what happens here. It still says 6 nothing on the scoreboard. Bounce to the outside. And the two-point conversion is good. As it's, I believe, Devontae Green getting in there. 14 0 BA, 1141 to go in the third. We'll be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. My name is Quentin Miles, sales coordinator for Charleston, Bluffton, Hilton Head, Beaufort. Aflac has a proprietary cloud-based enrollment platform available to you at no employer cost. We help you manage your hiring and retention competitiveness, and we help your employees manage the rising cost of healthcare affordably. I've got 17 years experience to help you make the right decision with your employee benefits. Contact me today for more information. Hi, I'm Anna, Chicken Salad Chick, and we are ready for the 2023 football season. Stop by today and grab a quick chick, some cookies, a gallon of iced tea, or a fresh made lemonade to enjoy at your tailgate party. We welcome you back 19 seconds into the third quarter and Jackson Santa Claus Porter with a touchdown. The kickoff here and it's gonna go to HHP. About the five yard line, it's gonna be Barger returning it across the 30, down to the 34 yard line, where he was brought down by number 20, Roman Benjamin. He is a freshman. And Barger gets Hilton Head Prep with good field position to start this drive. Reminder that the halftime report was brought to you certainly by one Stokes Toyota of Buford, your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience. Marcus, we were just talking about Coach Nick Shuford and what an intense guy he is. Obviously, he's got a lot of experience, and uh, one of the keys to the game for him coming in was limit mistakes. And I think he probably got into their grills a little bit at halftime. What do you think? Without question. Looked like a different intensity coming out onto the field here in the second half. Here's a run up the middle. Not much doing there as touching the football was number two. That's well done on the defensive side, but Davis Cargill touching it for Hilton Head Prep. 11-18 remaining here in the third. Yeah, one of the things Justin, or excuse me, Dustin Etheridge said in his pregame interview was, you know, they need to be great tacklers tonight. These two backs are so elusive, and then you throw uh, Dietrich Schuford in there as a third head to that uh, three-headed attack, and, right. and it's, it's formidable. So uh, he, he just, he needs to keep those guys focused. Uh, they're still in this game. 
Reminder, our scoreboard sponsor is Simplicity tonight. Simplicity, Low Country, Cremation and Burial Services. Not much doing there. The support you need when you need it the most. Again, Simplicity, Low Country, Cremation and Burial Services. The support you need when you need it the most. Marcus, Third down. We, we talk so much about uh, the offensive skill of the, the, the BA Eagles, but we haven't talked much about this defense. This defense is is tenacious, they're fast, they're athletic, they're aggressive. They're just doing a whale of a job tonight, and I can see why they were so successful in their first two games. Reminder, Chris Rogers, our referee, our umpire, Xavier Westcott. Line Min is J.J. Turner, line judge Alan Campbell, backfield judge Mike Brennan. That's broken up by number one, Devontae Green on the right side, and the Clock operator, Harry Lindbergh. Marcus, uh, Devontae Green almost comes up with that interception. D did you see the interception last week for the, the pick six, where he snared it out of the air with one hand? That was crazy. I mean. I've never seen a catch quite like that in high school. That's 90 years of officiating with this crew, by the way. That was unreal. 10.05 well, remaining. As Justin Jarrett and Wes Kerr said, that was just pure athleticism. Here's a punt. High, and it is a boomer. Talk about Chris Berman, although it's going to drop down at the 29-yard line, picking it up and slipping was Devin Fripp. So B.A. is going to have it with 9.53 to go. They've got a 14-0 lead thanks to a big play by one Jackson Porter. Zeke Gonzalez with the other big play for the touchdown in the first half. Again, 9.53 to go in the third quarter. Our pregame sponsor, Appliances by Design. Appliances by Design of Hilton Head, unique, extraordinary, great value. And let us hear from our sponsor with the Community Leader Award for the year. Main Stage Community Theater. Engage the artist in anyone, inspire the arts in everyone. First down to 10. Here's a run to the outside for Buford Academy, taking it down the sideline as the quarterback, Schufert. He tried to do a little sidestep flip, and he ends up going down after a nice game. 9.43 to go in the third quarter. Diedrich Schufert really using his legs quite well to extend plays and even run, and he can do that as 9.40 and counting to go here in the third quarter. Yeah, Schufert's just a good-looking quarterback. Great he experience. Is. Another, you know, we talked about the field, field general that uh, Christian Tilton is at John Paul. Well, that's exactly what uh, Dietrich Schufert is. He's a coach on the field. We've said no that question. before. 9.23 remaining. Schufert going to hand it off, and this is going to go to Devontae Green. He's not going to get much, and with the stop on the play is number three. That is Tommy Fernandez junior wide receiver and defensive back, I believe related to one Danny Fernandez. There's number three, Tommy Fernandez right there. Great shot by our crew, getting number three into the action in your television screen. 8.55 remaining in the third. Second down coming up, and Schufer just gonna have to corral the football after the snap was a little bit off the mark. You know, that's been uh, something that's plagued them this whole game. They're not, yeah. they're, they're not getting that snap back with a lot of consistency. Schufert's having to go down. And, and that, what that does, Marcus, in addition to uh, putting the ball control in jeopardy, you know, it disrupts the rhythm of the entire play. You know, no guys have to come it. off their routes. Running backs can't stick to their assignments. Uh, that snap is so critical. Everything starts there. So, um, you know, the, again, those, those are the kinds of things that make coaches nutso. Earlier on, we had the second half touchdown. Stump up with TCL, the technical college of the Lou Country. 8.05 remaining in the third. Snap to Schufert. He's going to still have the football scramble to his right. Now hit it towards center, trying to get something or get rid of the ball. He can't. He goes down. And. Richke. Boy, he's playing a, a nice good play. football game. And Trip Gregory will punt on a fourth down at 7.44 remaining in the third. You know, Marcus, I appreciate you letting me get the, the read for the community leader. You know, I've been on the board at the Main Stage Community Theater for eight years now. Had the pleasure of meeting the new uh, head of school, J, uh, uh, Paul Horgan. Yeah. Um, second year, I believe. Second. Yeah, yeah, well, he's from Virginia. They bought yeah. a house in Sea Pines. He's loving it here. But uh, we do most of our shows. Main Stage does most of their shows at Hilton Head Preps Theater. Yeah. So what a great partnership that's been. And Dustin Etheridge is also involved in some of that. So he's not a one-trick pony, that Dustin Etheridge. Very important. 
As here's a high floater, little end over end lob kick, but it's gonna take a nice roll, very nice roll, oh my. All the way down to the 25 yard line. So first down and 10 for Hilton Head Prep with 7.03 to go. Reminder, Chicken Salad Chick, our tailgate sponsor. Chicken Salad Chicken Bluffton, delicious scratch made, craveable favorites served from the heart. Thanks for correcting me on that, Paul Horgan. It is his second year. When I met him, he was still in his first year. So. Gotcha. Yeah, a lot of good things going on at both of these schools. And, you know, we talk, you, you guys talked about it on the podcast today with Loco. Right. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you want to win, but, you know, this is really about just uh, community, community. community excitement, um, how you play, character. Bringing people um, together. Commitment to excellence. Yeah, isn't this great? It's awesome. I love it. Reminder that Fat Baby's a tailgating sponsor as well. Fat Baby's of Hilton Head, your family-friendly neighborhood pizza joint, and they serve a whole lot more than that. And it is all delicious. As that catch by A.J. Barger at the 30-yard line is made for Hilton Head Prep. 6.48 remaining and second down for the Dolphins. Wyatt Harmer is a very capable quarterback. He's got a good arm. And, I, and we've talked about that. I talked about this as one of the keys at half. You know, he just get, get the ball out of his hands quick. Let him get some rhythm. You know, a lot of times with young quarterbacks, to get their confidence, they just need to get the ball out of the hands and get it to their playmakers to, to just get in a little offensive rhythm. Reminder that USCB has the Student Community Leader Award more than you imagine, and not much doing there. On second down and 10 as the BA defense just gets all over Hilton Head Prep and dragging them to the down, dragging them to the ground on the down of two, and it's now third down with 6.07 remaining in the quarter. That was a flock of Eagles, wasn't it? It sure was. That it was a flock. That defense is, you know, I. I think Nick Sh Nick Schufer wasn't just talking to the offense at halftime. He was talking to this entire team. They've come out looking uh, quite a bit different than they did in the first two quarters. One thing we have not seen much of here in the second half are penalties. Don't penalize your employees by offering just medical insurance or no worksite benefits at all. As that pass downfield, oh my goodness, that was a touchdown written all over it, except for the fact that it wasn't caught. It'll be fourth down as that was right in the hands of Fripp. He did not make the catch, unfortunately. Again, you can call Quinton Miles today to learn how to help your employees at little or no cost to you. That's our penalty flag sponsor, which is Aflac. Yeah, you saw that uh, that pass sail on Harmer a little bit there. Uh, you know, Fripp had a good chance to make that interception, but as we're seeing, uh, he looks like he's starting to cramp up, and this is when that happened. There's a block! And that's going to go out of bounds. A heck of a block by B.A. on the HHP punt with five and a half to go in the third. It'll be first down. B.A. with great field position coming up. Our sideline report sponsor, Kevin Libby, handling the sideline reports, or the majority of them this year. Cooper, or rather, Copper Frog, your full-service car wash on Hilton Head Island. I actually just went by it recently. I didn't know that Copper Frog existed until just about a week ago. We're hearing a lot about it now, aren't we? Absolutely, we are. Thanks to Copper Frog. Marcus, that was uh, number 68, who we've talked about uh, previously tonight. You know, Alex Williams, the senior. You know, that guy, um, he's quick. No doubt. He was on that punter before he had a chance to get that uh, ball off his foot. Reminder, officials are still needed. Go to highschoolofficials.com to find out more. You can earn some extra income, get great exercise. Create a circle of friends, whether for cell phone usage or your Rolodex, if you still have those. We've got an injury down on the field for B.A. We're going to take a timeout with 5.15 to go. Be right back after this on WHHI Sports TV. Come to Fat Babies for game day and root for your favorite team with a platter that comes with a bucket of beer. The Gamecocks platter has 24 boneless wings, four flavors, fries, and celery. The Tiger platter is two medium pizzas, four toppings, garlic knots, and marinara. The Bulldog platter has six hot dogs, fries, chili cheese, and all the fixins. And for a football feast, the Buckeye platter. Ribs, fries, mac and cheese, and slaw. Each platter is only 40 bucks and comes with a bucket of beer, so whoever you're rooting for, game day at Fat Babies is sure to be a touchdown. Appliances by Design was founded on Hilton Head and is serving the low country. We're local owners, industry professionals, and we're here to help. When you're ready to replace that mattress with some quality sleep, we've got you covered. We've got the best prices on well-known brands like Beautyrest to support the highest quality of sleep. Get the quality you need for the best price. 
Plus we do delivery, installation, warranty work, so you get service like you've never had before. Appliances by design. 20 Hatton Place, Hilton Head Island, next to Barnes & Noble. As we welcome you back, 5.07 and counting left in the third. If you want to pay more for a car, that's your business. If you want to pay less, that's Kia Country's business. They are our timeout sponsor, Kia of Hilton Head. And here's a big play down the sideline. It's number one. Whoop, whoop. Talk about Chris Berman a little. <laughs> whoop -de whoop That is number one, Devontae Green with a huge run. Caught everybody off guard and by surprise, including yours truly. 448 to go in the third and a Kevin Sevier of State Farm first down. Middle of the aisle of the ladies two-step there, wasn't it, Marcus? That was a little aisle of the ladies two-step. Boy, that guy's got some feet. That sounds like a heck of a, a dance song. <laughs> first down and goal. We're going to take another timeout for another injury. Back in a moment on WHHI. Come see us at Copper Frog Car Wash, a family-owned full-service and express service car wash. Our hand-washed, thorough cleaning service will have your car looking like new. Our goal is to have you back on the road in 20 minutes. We have everything from express washes to platinum services for you to choose from. Located on the north end of the island, we offer great locals discounts and monthly memberships that will keep your car always looking copper frog clean. Come see us today. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lowndes, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlowndes.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today, only at O.C. Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. We welcome you back, 429 to go. So both teams have had injuries over the last couple of plays, and I just looked at my phone, checking the weather via the Weather Channel app, and it's 77% humidity. I know why folks are going down. It is sticky. Here's Schufert. He's scrambling around, and he's not going to get much. I tell you, the only thing in this half that's slowing down that Eagle offense is the snap. Um, you know, that's that's second to goal. That's going to be something that uh, Schuford and staff are going to be focused on pretty intently here this next week. They've got to get that corrected. Reminder that Kevin Severe of State Farm, our first down sponsor for all your home and auto insurance needs, visit Kevin Severe of State Farm. The coin toss sponsor is Kawhi Piano Gallery by Heron for piano sales, rental service, and now lessons it down the sideline and a big run. PA near the end zone, but I think it's going to be just a tad short wow. from Devontae Green. They're still waiting for a sign. That was a slick play. Good call, good execution. That was a little fake dive to Jackson Porter and then a give. Um, off tackle to, uh, to Devontae Green. Green, just letting him make something happen with those amazing legs of his. So again, for piano sales, rental service, and now lessons, call Kawhi Piano Gallery by Heron today. Ball marked just outside the goal line. 3.23 to go. And Schufer oh, going to hand wow. it off, and wow! What a play by Hilton Head Prep defensively all over Devontae Green. Jake Sheehan. Wow. Ooh, he's as, yeah, he's, big number he's made a lot of plays tonight. That was a pop. As, I mean, he got right off of his block and just drove his pads right through uh, Devontae Green. And he again, got jacked up. He didn't He didn't hit the ground, but he got jacked up on that play. No kidding. And, again, we talk about if, if there are young youngsters out there that are playing football at the peewee level, you know, watch – the way that young man tackles, you know, he's it's form tackling. He's got his head across. He's driving with his legs. That's the way you tackle. 240 and counting to go in the third. 14 nothing on a Gonzalez touchdown. And the other one courtesy of Jackson Porter for B.A. And then the two point conversion. And here's a bouncer to the outside. It's Porter again trying to get to the corner. Oh he does. Great tackles inside the pylon. Touchdown, B.A. Kidding me. 
Are you serious? That was another low uh, Lady of the Isles two-step, Mark. That might have been a four or five-step. Jackson Porter doing the mamba as it goes down inside the goal line on the left side of the field, inside the pylon for six. And it's 20 to nothing with 2.23 uh, remaining in the third quarter. B.A. may be starting to separate things a little bit now as coming in is number 66, Sumner Pingree. Santa Claus just came to town, didn't he? He did. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Jackson Santa Claus Porter is going to score a touchdown on you. What an individual effort that was. Two minutes, 23 seconds to go in the quarter. The extra point is going to be attempted by Grady Lamb, and it's through. 21 0 BA, 2.23 to go in the third. The Independent Bowl rolls on on WHHI Sports TV next. Life is grand with a piano. Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron and Heron Piano Consignment serves Bluffton, Savannah, Charleston, Beaufort, and Hilton Head for piano sales, rentals, and service. Kauai Piano Gallery in Bluffton offers the full line of Kauai products, from hybrids and digitals to concert grand pianos. Quality pre-owned inventory includes Kauai, Steinway, Yamaha, Baldwin, and more. Also now offering lessons. Head to Kauai Piano Gallery by Heron.com. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Did you know that the amount of tire that's actually making contact with the road is about the same size as a slice of watermelon. And that's all you have to keep you safe. It makes sense to have the best like Michelin. That's why Island Tire has been proudly selling Michelin tires since 1978. At Island Tire, we don't think of it as just a set of tires. You can trust us to be thinking about the safety of your car and more importantly, what's inside. Having trouble sleeping? FWDG has all the things for your best night's sleep. Let's go get a sleep report and find your perfect mattress. You can get mattresses for more or less, ones that lift and sheets that pass the test. FWDG for the best rest. From the Copper Frog sideline, Kevin Libby here with Brian Singer. Booster, Brian, I can smell the food all the way over here. Yes, sir. Tell me what we're eating tonight. Well, tonight we have our standard menu, which is cheeseburgers and hot dogs and chicken fingers, but our special tonight is buffalo wings with Patrick Mitchell, Mitchell's famous Asian honey sauce Ooh. and also a, uh, a buffalo sauce flavor. You can go around the world, you can only get that special sauce right here. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. You, more than just a booster, you are also a football coach. Yes, Tell sir. us about the boys at the middle school level. Uh, middle school team, uh, we've had, a, uh, I started three seasons ago with Buford Academy and middle school team has really made some, some leaps and bounds. A really impressive team, really impressive record over the past couple of years. Uh, kicking off our first game next, uh, next week uh, on Thursday, I'm really excited. Go get him on Thursday, fellas. Hope you're watching tonight to see what you can be in just a couple of years. Yes, sir. Thanks for your time. All right, have a good night. From the Copper Frog sideline, Kevin Libby saying on back to Marcus in D.C. Kevin Libby working hard. 2.23 to go. Our entire crew is, of course, Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Maria Soden, Jeremy Pope, Larry Giacomo, Joseph Keith, Kevin Libby. We are all with you. And uh, Kevin getting the dirt on, uh, on what's <laughs> the real – Nickname of one Jackson Porter now by his peers and teammates as that kick's going to go into the end zone and bound down about two yards deep. 21-0 B.A. Yeah, this is uh, tonight's uh, sports trivia. At the Independent Bowl. Uh, compliments, uh, sis, goes to Kevin Libby. So, so, so what is his real nickname, Marcus? Pretty boy. Pretty boy. Well, there's nothing pretty about the way he plays football. No. It's just mean. No, no. Nasty. It's like, it's like Santa Claus going down a chimney. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, whoo, pretty boy. I guess he's got those eyes that are irresistible yeah. or however Kevin phrased it. You know, I, I always hated those guys. They, they, they're, they can play football, they score all the touchdowns, and they look good. Yeah. What's up with that? Honestly. Life ain't fair. <laughs> that pass is caught. Wow. What a catch by number six. Well done for Hilton Head Prep. That is Jason Britschke, the senior tight end defensive end. Off a Wyatt Harmer off-balance passes. It looked like he was about ready to get knocked flat on his back. Great concentration by Britschke, and it'll be second down for HHP. They really need some points right now inside two minutes to go in the third quarter, D.C. Yeah, they, they do. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a tall order. You know, we talked about we're watching players cramp. We talked about the thin yeah. roster, you know, and the, the speed, the strength, and the depth of B.A. is starting to wear them down. Here's a run up the middle and a couple of yards gained that time by number seven. That is 
Oliver Barracks. What a what a name for a football player. Freshman, linebacker, running back. Oliver Barracks. Got some good, good names out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and talking about Kevin Livy, you know, going over and getting Man. getting that getting that little <laughs> uh, that little detail for us. You know, that, that we good talked about KML. that again. We talked about that today. You know what we we do a lot more than just broadcast football games here. We it's try right. to give you those those little personality insides, you know, like documentary information on these players and the community and their that parents you never and their thought leaders. You knew that you needed. That's right. It just Third adds down. so much value to the broadcast. Here's a pass from Harmer, incomplete into traffic, and it was intended for number three. That is Tommy Fernandez, and we had him down and a B.A. guy down, but they're both getting up. The B.A. guy, I believe, is Devin Fripp, number four. Yeah, he's really struggling he's with struggling. Those, those calves. It's those When those calves start knotting up, like it feels like a tennis ball, you know, that's just Ouch. locked up in your leg. Yeah, they're carrying them off. Those, oh, what, that's, yeah. Once those calves start cramping, you're pretty much crippled. And, I mean, it's, it's to a point now where he's, he's in, in pain. He's in pain, for sure. Get some fluids in that young man. One minute. One second to go. A couple of guys will check in for B.A. as Fripp goes to the sideline. He's had himself a nice day. One minute, one second to go in the third. Boy, and there's a kick high and fairly deep. Uh -oh. And it's a fumble. Uh -oh. It's a fumble. That's one for my girlfriend, Sam Wolf, and picking it up is Schubert. And he's going to go out of bounds into Hilton Head Prep territory at the 46-yard line. 49 seconds to play in the third quarter. And Noble Mattress is our play of the game sponsor. Noble Mattress and more. Visit us in Bluffton or Hilton Head for quality mattresses at an affordable price. And that's no bowl. Hey, partner. Give me a Sir. Give, give me a, a, a fumble call real quick. A Keith Jackson fumble call real quick. It's a fumble. <laughs> Chris Berman was known for doing that too. Fumble! Whoa! 49 seconds to go. Little Butterfingers. I still love your Great Keith Jackson. Your, your big, your big uglies. Uh, oh, my... them big uglies. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. And that's another legend. We've been talking yes, about legends indeed. all May night. Keith Jackson. Peace. Yes, oh. sir. 49 seconds to go. Schuford with a screen pass. It goes out to number 20, Roman Benjamin. And look at Benjamin Rumble. He's going to go to the 24-yard line. You know, at 21 nothing, uh, we're almost through three quarters. You know, right now, you know, I, I think both teams need to just start working on uh, just just playing disciplined football. You know, you, you got to start preparing, looking ahead to, to next week. Obviously, we got right. a quarter left to go here. You know, BA's got uh, a little cushion to work with now. I, I think Nick Shuford's going to, you know, open it up a little bit and just see what his uh, offense can do with with respect to execution. Greenwood Christian next for BA on September the eighth. And Hilton Head Prep will have on September the 8th, St. Andrews. Well, I'll tell you, Marcus, if I'm starting a defense, I might start it with number 52, Jake Sheehan. Honestly, good I grief. Mean, he's just a junior, too. Hey, oh. He just made another Dynamite really, play. really aggressive, nasty hit, but perfect form. I love that. I mean, he's got a coach's dream to watch a player tackle like that. 20 seconds left, third down. Schufert scrambling up. He's going to run up the middle, cut it to the outside. He's going to take some hits. He's still on his feet. And he had several guys on him, but a keeper for Diedrich Schufert. That's a B.A. first down brought to you by Kevin Severe of State Farm. For all your home and auto insurance needs, visit Kevin Severe of State Farm today. 12 seconds and counting left in the third. 21-0 in favor of B.A. over HHP. The Independent Bowl. Hey, Marcus, we've talked about this for several seasons. You know, uh, the Dolphins are really young. Dustin Etheridge has got a rebuilding program, but I love to see that they're still playing hard. They always do. Indeed. Great character. Three in the books, 21-0 BA over HHP. The fourth quarter of the Independable next on WHHI Sports TV. Now open, the all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head is open. It's a new state-of-the-art Kia dealership that will change the way you think of buying a car. Shop America's favorite line of SUVs and cars and choose from a special grand opening selection of new 2023 Tellurides, Seltos, Sportage, and more. The all-new Kia Country of Hilton Head is open, located at 170 and 278 next to Tractor Supply in Bluffton. This is the mower 
that cut the lawn that became the place their kids grew up. The legendary Xmark Laser Z is the zero turn mower more landscape pros trust. For cut quality, comfort, and reliability, Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Laser Z online for special finance offers available now. Did you know at FWDG we have furniture? Dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. With the USCB Community Leader Award, I'm here with Clay Lore. Clay, you're the student body president yes, and obviously a player. Yes, thanks for letting us steal away some of your time with Coach. No problem. Clay, tell me about this football team you're with tonight. Hey, uh, it's a great football team. I love my boys out here. Uh, been at BA since third grade, so I know what it's I know what it's like to be an Eagle, and been on this team since ninth grade, so it's a pleasure to be here. You guys are playing a great game. Tell us about student leadership and why it matters. Shoot, I mean, on the field, in the classroom. In life, I mean, being a leader is, is, is what you need. You gotta make leaders and you gotta produce leaders. Clay Laura, that's what we're talking about. On behalf of USCB, this is our Community Leader Award. Thank you for all you do making this place so great. Thanks for having us in your house. Yes, sir. Thank Appreciate you. it, Clay. Marcus, uh, Marcus and Daniel, back to you. We enter the fourth quarter, 21 0 BA. Over Hilton Head Prep, first down and 10 for the Eagles. Here's Devontae Green taking it up the middle for about maybe five. And it'll be second down as number nine with the tackle for Hilton Head Prep. And that is C.J. Patain, senior kicker, linebacker, and holder. And a nice play there on defense at his linebacker spot. 11.36 remaining in the ballgame. 21-0 in favor of of B.A. and they've got the football. High snap, corralled by Schufert. He hands it oh, off and not much doing for Jackson Porter. And in on the stop Britschke. and making it is Britschke, number six. Britschke. Jason Britschke's had himself a fine I'm, game on this defense. I'm telling you, Sheehan and Britschke have just been- Animals. They've been dogs. Yeah, they've been, they've been dogs but, or you think animal on Sesame Street just going crazy yeah, all over Yeah, no the place. kidding, I mean. These, these two guys could play for virtually any school in the area. No, let's, no question. Let's hear from our national anthem sponsor, O.C. Welch Ford. O.C. Welch Ford. Go see O.C. today for a great car buying experience. That is so good. Michael Buffer, here's, man. Here's Shuford. He's going to roll. He's going to lob one, and that's nearly intercepted by number two. Sheehan. That's uh, Jake Sheehan. I don't think so much of Michael Buffer on that read that you give. I think of the guy that actually does him, I think for Fox or whatever. So good. I, I'm not sure his name. but For for OC, the local, yeah. the, the local guy. Right. Yeah, he's good. He is good. Our MVP presentation coming up with Daniel later. Island Tire, the longest serving Tyler retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head and Island Tradition. So what are you thinking about MVP, partner? You got any uh, early thoughts? Oh, I'm leaning towards pretty boy Santa Claus, Jackson <laughs> Porter. I'm sure you've never heard those two in one sentence before. Pretty Jackson, boy Santa Claus. Jackson, pretty boy Santa Claus Porter. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get the scoop. I want to ask him firsthand. I need to know the scoop. 10.37 to go. Schufert going to throw that one up as he had a guy all over him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a guy, all right. Guess, guess who? Guess who's all Probably over Probably Sheenan, right? Uh, you got it. Yeah. Oh. 52. Oh, nearly. 10-31 remaining in the ballgame. All right. I got a th You asked me last week who was a famous number 54. And it uh, was Brian Erlacher. It was Brian for, Erlacher. For New Mexico that I yes. mentioned. It wasn't New Mexico State, but he did play for New Mexico. I said Ohio State. but I, I, was, text, I texted you that earlier you in the did. week because I forgot to check it in between quarters last week. I was thinking. My bad. I'm going to penalize myself five more yards from last week. I was, I'm starting to rack up the total. Well, I was thinking of Andy <laughs> Andy Katzenmoyer. Andy Remember Katzenmoyer, him? He was number 45 at Ohio Man, State. That, yeah. He was a beast. Now, so so Sheehan is 52. Give me give me a great linebacker in the NFL that's 52. Lewis. You got it, buddy. Boy, Easy. that was quick. Yeah. See how good he is, guys. Tell you what. They don't pay him the big he bucks is, for nothing. He is a he was a bruiser. He's the best linebacker. of all time. 
There's a deep ball from Harmer. Haven't seen this. Oh, oh boy, picked boy. off. It is picked off. And Barger with the tackle on B.A. is that was as good as a punt. Beautifully thrown ball from Harmer, but to the Fripp, wrong guy. Yeah. Fripp was there. And Devin Fripp with the interception at the 10-21 mark. And B.A. with possession of the football. Fripp's had a really good game. He, yeah, he, he wow. kind of he's a he's another one of those do it do it all kind of guys. You know, he's just slight a build, but um, you know, he's probably about 155 pounds soaking wet, but he's quick, he's tenacious, he's smart. And I'll tell you, that that uh, B.A. secondary is tough. They're going to give anybody trying to throw the football in them trouble this season. FWDG, our media day sponsor, the, fur the furniture and services you deserve. I'm struggling with that word tonight. Man, furniture. It's, get it's getting late, partner. Are you, <laughs> are you starting? Is your tongue starting to cramp? Uh, not quite. There's a big run down the sideline. Look at him go. It's number one, Devontae, uh, Devontae Green. Number one on your scorecards for B.A. and number one in the hearts of this team, along with Jackson Porter. First down brought to you by State Farm and Kevin Severe. For all your home and auto insurance needs, visit Kevin Severe at State Farm today. Dante Green says, enough of that pretty boy Santa Claus talk. Uh, give let, me the rock. Give me the rock. Let me do my thing. I tell you, these two running backs are, mm, you know, it's kind of like the two players we saw last week. They're, they're every bit as advertised. Timeout, Hilton Head Prep. We'll take it with them. 10-12 to go in the ballgame. Back after this on WHHI Sports TV. Now open. The all-new Kia country of Hilton Head is open. It's a new state-of-the-art Kia dealership that will change the way you think of buying a car. Shop America's favorite line of SUVs and cars and choose from a special grand opening selection of new 2023 Tellurides, Seltos, Sportage, and more. The all-new Kia country of Hilton Head is open. Located at 170 and 278 next to Tractor Supply in Bluffton. You asked and we listened. Nobo Mattress is growing. We've opened a second location in the village at Main Street. For those who didn't want to cross the bridge, we're now open on Hilton Head Island. Locally, family owned and operated, ranked number one by our customers in service, price, and quality. We have over 250 years in manufacturing in our showroom. Our relationship with our customers does not end with the sale. We can save you 55 to 80% off retail, and that's no bull. Did you know at FWDG we have furniture, dressless chairs, great quality mattresses, bedroom furniture, outdoor furniture, dining sets, and rugs. The Low Country's best furniture and mattress store, FWDG. We welcome you back. AJ Barger now getting to his feet, and they're going to run a play here as it's number two, Jackson Porter. He's going to be stuffed like a stuffed. Cheese pizza. Britschke. Number six, Britschke. <laughs> I tell you what, that's one of the only times that he's been stuffed here today. Britschke with the tackle. It's getting late, buddy. Man, We're oh getting man. a little punchy. <laughs> it's all good. 9.48 oh, remaining. Oh, man. I, I, I tell you, if you're Dustin Etheridge, you just got to just be so proud, not, not only of just no these doubt. two stars on defense, but just the whole team. You know, they're just – they just They're I battling. love I love the character and the and the will of the Dolphins. They just it's, never give up. It's hard. They don't have quite the athletes that BA does. They don't have the numbers of a lot of teams. It's, there's a run up the middle. Holy cow! Diedrich Schuford, are you kidding me? That's a touchdown! Peter T D Yeah. Touchdown for Schuford. Step up with TCL, the technical college of the low country. He, 9 he, 20 to go and it's 27-0. Dietrich said uh, Jackson. Devontae, let me get some too. Wow. What a, wow. You know, that was just, that's a kind of that Johnny Manziel, just that wildcat yeah. lead, lead trap. No doubt. And, uh, you know, all, all these guys, you know, Justin, Justin Jarrett was talking about it today. You know, all, all these athletes need, those three guys in the backfield, they just need a split second. Yep. You just got to stay on your block for a split second, yeah. and that's enough execution to get these guys in space and, and into the end zone. Grady Lamb to attempt the extra point. Reminder, officials needed. Go to highschoolofficials.com for more. Point after splits the uprights. 28-0 BA over Hilton Head Prep. 9.20 to go in the fourth. We're back with more of the Independent Bowl next on WHHI Sports TV. Hang on, everybody. 
I think my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. University of South Carolina Beaufort has three beautiful locations near the beach, Bluffton, Beaufort, and Hilton Head Island. Our students find our small classes and personalized instruction very rewarding. The USCB Sand Sharks have added men's and women's basketball, and we are excited to be new provisional members of NCAA Division II and the Peach Belt Conference. Fins up from USCB. If you want to protect your loved ones from additional stress and expense, Plan ahead with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Planning ahead tells your loved ones exactly what you want for your final wishes and protects them from rising costs. Make your final arrangements today with Simplicity Cremation and Burial Services. Visit LowCountryFuneral.com. That's LowCountryFuneral.com. We welcome you back. 920 to go. We are having fun tonight at the Independent Bowl. 28-0 in favor of B.A. over Hilton Head Prep. The kick goes to the 10-yard line. It's going to be returned and on the outside with a big run. And finally being crowded about the 30-yard line is number two for Hilton Head Prep. That is Davis Cargill, the sophomore running back linebacker. Reminder, our scoreboard. Check that. I'll do the postcard. Sponsor, it's Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. 15-0, Hilton Head leads Claxton in the third quarter, and we will be at Hilton Head next week to see Buford take on Hilton Head. It's the Battle of the Birds. I'm looking forward to Eagles that, Between the Eagles and the Seahawks. P.J. Payne yeah. going up going up against Bryce Lybrand. Are you kidding me? It's going to be great. It's Always be great is. It's next game. week. It is... Next week on WHHI Sports TV. There's a nice run for Hilton Head Prep. That Bibby for that quarterback for, for the Seahawks He's is for real, else. isn't he? And, and you got Samari at the other end talking about right. quarterbacks. It's That's be... the Beaufort County Bowl next week on WHHI. 8.55 remaining. Nice run there by uh, David Cargill, the sophomore. He's, He's a good player. We good saw him a couple player. of years ago, too, doing a lot of really good things as well. In, uh, in the matchup that we saw between THA and Hilton Head Prep on WHHI. Here's what I would say if you're a Hilton Head Dolphin. Better days are ahead. It, you just keep doing what you're doing. They're on the right track. Dustin Etheridge has got them going. Here's Harmer struggling. He's going to throw this one off balance high, and it's picked off by number five. Beautifully done by C. Gonzalez, his second big play of the day. And we said that last year as well off the JP2 loss, 35-7 to that we had. This is a good team. They've got some talent, but they need to find a few more numbers. And if I'm being honest, I think they need to get a little bit stronger too against some of these teams. Yeah, it's just a... It's a tough uphill climb, you know. Just to re rebuilding programs at at any level is is a, is a difficult task, and yeah. you know you gotta, you know, it's a culture. You know, you gotta build that culture. You gotta get the community to buy, and that's what Buford's got. Bryce Lebrand has gotten that culture going at Buford, and and now you know they've been to two state championships in a row, won one, lost one, but they expect to be there now. No doubt. And everybody's bought in, and that's what's got to happen in West uh, high school Kerr. football. As here's a run for a couple by number one, Devontae Green. Wes Kerr is at the Beaufort Fort Dorchester game at 17 7, third quarter. BHS over Fort Dorchester. How about that? That's a 5A power in Fort Dorchester, ranked, I think, number 10 in the state. We have a penalty flag. Don't penalize your employees by offering just medical insurance or no worksite benefits at all. Call Quentin Miles today to learn how. He can help your employees at little to no cost to you. That is AFLAC. 8.06 remaining in the ballgame. 28-0 in favor of Beaufort Academy. Again, we'll see Beaufort at Hilton Head at Community Stadium, The Nest, next week. Well, speaking of athletic, what's the saying? If it, if it walks like a duck 
and quacks like a duck. It's probably talks a duck. like a duck. Yep. Eats like a duck. It's probably well, a duck. I'm I'm a big fan of of some duck and fries and whatnot. It's you know, you like you yeah. like the duck. Huh? Have you ever tried it? I have. It's like pork with wings. It's delicious. Yeah, I just think about those cute little ducks every time I'm eating it. Though it's, it makes that's, it. But, that's Sam's thought too. But but speaking of that, you know what we're seeing is, from 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 BA is what they really are here in the second half. Right. I I think the first half was a little bit of a letdown combined with just a little bit of lapse in in concentration you know again sometimes when you're the big favorite you've had two big wins you come in and uh, you're a little lackadaisical and Schufert clearly got their attention at halftime and they've been a different team I think they're the team that we've seen in the first two weeks and as the loco sports guys continue to say what we're seeing here early in the season and I know it's early but this could be the odds on favorite to to win the the class 2a and Skiza. Second down, 25 to go. Become physically fit. Make new friends. Become a positive influence in a young person's life. Stay involved in the game that you love. Earn extra income. Learn more about a sport you love. Give back to the community. These are all benefits of officiating. Hashtag become an official. Highschoolofficials.com for more. The NFHS does a great job with that as there's a tackle on Nick Schufert on the outside. The tackle made by number five. That's A.J. Barger and Good Schubert see him back. goes down. Great to see Barger back in the game, no doubt about it. Carissa and the gang over at the NFHS do a wonderful job. Again, I mentioned 90 years of officiating with these officials, and I want to point out one in particular for a bit of a personal reason. I was expected to make this announcement last week, but uh, did not. The WHHI family has grown by a little bit in a, in a very small, but especially to me, a very big way. Uh, one Alan Campbell, who is the line judge, has the last name Campbell, and that is the middle name of my nephew, Finnegan Campbell Walsh, who was born August the 19th, Saturday of last week, 9.55 p.m. to Austin and Tenley Walsh. Austin's my brother, and uh, he was born in Etna, New Hampshire, 6 pounds, 11 ounces. I've seen so many pictures and videos of little Finnegan Campbell, and he's just a beautiful baby boy. Congratulations, Austin, Tenley. Love you guys very much, and uh, what, a, what a thrill to be an uncle for the fifth time. This, this little boy is something special. Pass yeah. deep downfield and incomplete, 7-10 to go. Congrats to Tenley's family and certainly my family. This is just a, a great event, and I thought I would share it with you guys here uh, at the Independent Bowl here tonight. Well, I can hear the emotion in your voice, partner, and, and for good reason. You know, yeah. that's uh, congratulations. Thank you, man. Appreciate Welcome it. to the dance, little Finn. Yes, indeed. Finn for the win. Absolutely. This, this kid is something special. Well, and, you know, again, we've talked about uh, football is great. It's competitive. We want to win. You know, we want our teams to succeed. But at the end of the day, it's about family. Yep. I love family and community. Isn't this cool that we get to do this? Absolutely. Do they, do they pay us to do this? They do. Oh, my god. They do. For real? What are they thinking? I feel like I need pinched sometimes. <laughs> Just like sh- we could go and walk on the beach. Yeah. Fourth down and ten. High snap, the kick is high, it is far, and it's going to take a bounding hop at the 10, inside the 10, down to the 6-yard line, where it is corralled nicely by Nick Cooper. Well, I was a little bit surprised to see uh, Dietrich Schufert and a lot of the B.A. starters still in the game on offense there. This is, you know, I don't want to question what Nick Schufert's doing over there, but you know, late in the game like this, players are cramping. You know, uh, there's a little fatigue. This is when injuries can happen. Absolutely. And boy, you can ill afford to have those those stars go down with injuries unnecessarily. So, I'm hoping on the next series we we see those guys, you know, drinking some Gatorade on the and sidelines. I'm not saying that they shouldn't be resting a little bit more at this point, but the one thing to keep in mind too is that both these teams are off next week. Well, that's true. That's true. 6.53 you know? to go in the fourth quarter. 28 it, nothing in favor of B.A. over Hilton Head Prep. There's nothing like real reps at game speed. You know, Absolutely. That's, that's it's hard, it's hard only going to gonna get tougher that. for these teams. That's right. Here's a handoff up the middle and taken for a couple. 6.47 remaining in the ball game. You know, I like this move by Dustin Etheridge, putting uh, Barger back at quarterback. You know, he's, he's a lot more um, athletic. And, uh, Injury time out. It is number 23 that is down. That's Kevin Peoples. We'll take it with him. Be right back after this on WHHI Sports TV. This is the mower. 
that cut the lawn that became the place their kids grew up. The legendary Xmark Laser Z is the zero turn mower more landscape pros trust. For cut quality, comfort, and reliability, Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Laser Z online for special finance offers available now. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today only at OC Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. With the Copper Frog Sideline Report, Kevin Libby joined by Sally Dennis. Sally, thanks for having us on your campus. Thanks for being here. Of course, you, you wear many hats here. Tell us about the one you wear as the president of the Parent Teacher Association, PTA. Yes, I'm the um, president of the uh, what we call BAPA, so the Parents Association here. And um, it's a wonderful role. We're here to enhance the community, um, our BA teachers, staff, students. Cool, and you're one of many members of the Dennis family here on campus. Tell me about that. Yes, so between the Mitchell, Jones, Dennis clan, we have over um, 15 cousins that are here on campus between the preschool and the main wow. school. And um, it's really special to be part of my family and also the BA family. If I'm a new kid first day on campus, what's something you could tell me that I wouldn't get anywhere else, any other school couldn't give me but this one thing? I would say a sense of family, a sense of belonging, a sense of the Beaufort community, and um, just a great fun place to be, teachers that care. Yeah. Sally Dennis making us feel at home. With the Copper Frog Saddling Report, I'm Kevin Libby, sending it on back to Marcus in DC, guys. We welcome you back, 641 remaining in the Independent Bowl. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Jeremy Pope, Maria Soden, Joseph Keith, Larry Jackamot, Maria, I mentioned Maria, I'll mention her again. Uh, Joseph Keith, Larry Jackamot, Jeremy Pope, Daniel Court, Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, we're all with you. 641 remaining. Yeah, as I was saying before that injury, it's good to see Barger back there. Yes, you know, indeed. He's got, got a, no doubt. a quarterback with a, s some legs, you know, a little bit more mobile and shifty than uh Man than goes in motion, not much doing on that play. Want to give a final shout-out to Simplicity, our scoreboard sponsor for the night. Simplicity Low Country Cremation and Burial Services, the support you need when you need it the most. Boy, what I think is the Dolphins' player of the game, um, Sheehan, is – is getting up real slowly there. Looks like he's uh, he's so tough. I'm not surprised to see him up, but he clearly was was injured on that play. Hope it's nothing serious. Six minutes remaining. Coming off for Buford Academy is number 50, Trey's Delaney. He's had himself a nice game, or Tress Delaney rather. Sure has. 5:49 remaining. Barger in at quarterback. He's going to take off and scamper down the sideline. That's what I'm talking and about. And he's got a nice run to the 30-yard line. I actually noticed that he was listed as a quarterback part of the time, and that caught my eye. And I talked with Justin about it and some other folks, and they said, yeah, I mean, he's got that athleticism that he can certainly run. You wonder if he can throw the ball downfield, but certainly used off his wheels that he has as a wide receiver and uh, made a nice play there, 5.30 to go in the ball game. When you put a good athlete in that, in that wildcat position, you know. Great it, things can happen. Great things can happen. It opens the field up, and that's, they've, they've just been hemmed in the whole game. You know, the pass hasn't worked. You know, uh, uh, Harmer, even when he's been able to get the ball off, he's been under duress. Absolutely. So it's just, you know, they just need to open it up a little bit with Barger's legs. He's got it again, looks to hand off, and we've got a penalty flag. Well, and this gives uh, Dustin Etheridge uh, an opportunity to look at something a little bit different. You know, if we can't, if, you know, this is what, seven points they've scored in two games? Yeah. You know, they need to get some offense going. And sometimes, you know, it just takes one good drive to create some momentum and some belief. And sometimes you just have to get a good, a different look with a different player. I, th I, I, I love what he's doing here. Seven points for 
HHP in two games and in three games because they had Trinity Collegiate Pinewood Prep. To this point, to this point, 85 points scored for BA. I think they're far and away and still while needing to improve and improving on the fly. One of the best teams, if not the best in Skeezer right now. As running it is Barger on the near side and a tackle made by number 34. That is well done by Deshaun Williams, defensive end freshman. Well, BA, you know, when you look at them as a team, you know, they're they're incredibly balanced. They don't they don't they don't have any their, their only weaknesses are just what seems to be in the, at least in this game just a little bit of a lack of discipline. Right. But you know they can they can clean that up. They can fix that. But they're so balanced. You know they're they're offensively, defensively, great coaching staff. They've got star athletes that can make big plays at any time. And it looks like they can kick the ball too. Their special teams are great. The one thing that's been really good for both teams in the second half, and particularly the third quarter, the penalties have been way down. They yeah, were up a no little question. bit in the first two quarters, especially that first. Barger scrambling to his right, still scrambling. He's going to take off, race down the sideline, get to the 40, maybe the 41 or 42-yard line before going down with 3.45 to go. So in previous Hilton Head Prep games that we've had recently, they've been able to score some points. They put up a touchdown against THA and that great team two years ago. They put up a touchdown against JP2 in the game we had last year. You think they could put up a touchdown with 3:39 to go in the Independent Bowl this year? I think they can. You know, I, I think. I know, hope so. If you're a if you're a Dolphin fan, you know this is a little beam of, of light uh, showing its way through here late in the third quarter. Here's a handoff up the middle. Ba maybe getting a little bit winded inside that front interior line. As a nice run for Hilton Head Prep, they continue to chomp down the field and get this clock melted down a little bit like a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. Well, I'll tell you, speaking of butter, uh, I think the reason that they were able to score some touchdowns in last year's games was some guy named Lonsell Daly. Yes, sir. What a great player he was oh, for Pratt. Absolutely phenomenal for many years at Hilton Head. Yeah, great young man and just a, 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 no ball, a baller. But I'll tell you, they, they, they do, they've got some good looking players over there, Marcus. Yes. It's just putting it all together. That's I, I, I'm, I'm, I like a lot of what I'm seeing. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go in the ballgame. Low snap. High hold. Barger actually going to throw it, and it's incomplete. A little bit outside of the intended target near the sideline down the right side of the field. That intended target was Jason Britschke. I beat you to him, partner. You've been calling Britschke's uh, name a lot. I, well, he's way I down there. At the, he's down there at the bottom of the page. It's yep. kind of hard to find, but... I tell you, he's he's not he's not hard to find on the field. He's no, a he's big had a, guy. He's had a nice game. Well, I, I don't I don't see his um, his height and weight here on the yeah, on the stat really sheet, but I, I'm guessing maybe I'm wrong. Six four, maybe. Yeah. Six, six three, six four. Six three or six four, and probably two hundred and fifteen pounds. He's sure. A good looking football. Good solid player. player. Second down. Barger scrambling. Was looking to throw. Still has the football. Gonna get. Hurled oh, up, my. and that pass was incomplete. He got all sorts of tangled up there. Fourth down for Hilton Head Prep with 2.26 remaining. A reminder that we will have the presenting sponsor, Summit Services Heating and Air and Island Tire postgame show with the coach interview that I will do with one Nick Shuford, and we'll have the presentation of the MVP, Island Tire, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head, an island tradition, and Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the low country, thanks to Summit Services Heating and Air for supporting WHHI sports all year long. As Barger gonna throw one up, intended for Sheehan, uh, rather Richkey, and it's incomplete. Off the outside, hand at about the 31-yard line. It's going to go out of bounds. First down and 10 BA with 219 to play in the ballgame. Well, it doesn't look like they're going to get that score here, Marcus, but I'll tell you, there were some real bright spots for Hilton Head Prep there on that drive, you know, and A.J. Barger. Um, and, yeah, look, I, I know those last two passes weren't complete. I think the one previous one was dropped, but he shows that he can throw the ball too. Yeah, absolutely. I actually have a little bit of a counter for that with the fact that they scored or were outscored with 29 points in the second half in their game last week. 
their first touchdown and their only touchdown of the season was early on via the defense. I wonder if they might get a defensive touchdown here in the last two nights. Well, that's right. We're not done yet, are we? You just never know. Maybe Sheehan comes up with a big play. Here on the ground, taking it for a nice gain is number 22. That is Clay Lore. He received our award tonight, senior. didn't he? He did, yeah, number 22. Kevin we saw Libby him presented him with the student, student leader. community yeah. leader award. Good for him. He's got some good wheels on him, doesn't he? Makes me think of P.J. Lore Elementary School, where I went to preschool back in the Canton Maslin area. I think it was technically Canton, Ohio. Here's a handoff up the middle and taking it is number 24, Reese. Reese Lail, thanks to the PA guy for the assist. Reese Lail with a carry and a, a, a State Farm and Kevin Severe of State Farm first down. Contact Kevin Severe of State Farm for all your home and auto insurance needs. Kevin Severe of State Farm as we approach on 95 seconds to go in the ball game. It's nice to see some of those guys with the clean unis getting getting some action, isn't Absolutely. it, Absolutely. Um, no doubt. Yeah, and, and look, they've got some talent they in uh, Tier 2 and Tier 3. Yeah, this is, a, as I said, this is a very balanced, well-coached football team. I expect continued greatness from them this season. Yes. 1-10 to go. Here's a run to the outside, and taking it again was our student community leader, Clay Lore. He's got another first down brought to you by State Farm and Kevin Sevier. 63 seconds to go. Clay Lore said, I want some more. <laughs> Man, he's, he's, he's have, good. He's, have you seen the replacements? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's good. We want, some more. <laughs> we want some more. We want some more. We want some more. Great movie. Denzel Washington was absolutely phenomenal in that movie. Well, speaking of Denzel, you know, Equalizer 3 is coming out next uh -huh. week. And I, I got a movie coming out next week, partner. You certainly do. And uh, we'll talk more about that next week. Yes, sir. But uh, a big deal with you and Stan Smith. I can't wait to go see it. My man, Stan. Stan and, uh, Stan and Dan, you know, I got to, yeah. got to be a play, <laughs> play a part in a movie with uh, tennis legend and island resident Stan Smith, who's a better man than he was a tennis player, if you can believe that. More on that next week at the Buford County Bowl. And there's a nice little run, number 24. Reese Lale with it. Forty-four seconds remaining. Second down. Ball at the twenty-yard line. Twenty-eight nothing. BA over Hilton Head Prep. Hilton Head Prep gonna fall to zero and two on the year, and BA gonna go to three and zero again with eighty-five points scored on the season. Both teams are idle next week. And then get back into action on September 8th, two weeks from tonight. 22 seconds left in the quarter. That's hard to believe that we're almost into September. A knee is going to be taken. Clock's going to tick down to 15 and counting. And this game's just about wrapped up. Daniel Court and I will have the postgame show brought to you by Summit Services Heating and Air and Island Tire. We're going to talk to Jackson Porter and Nick Schuford next on WHHI Sports TV, the Independent Bowl, 28 0 BA, the wrap up show right after this timeout. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come see us during our 38th anniversary where we have 2023 F-150s at 1.9% financing. Call or come see me today only at OC Welch in Hardyville, South Carolina. Thank you very much. You asked and we listened. Noble Mattress is growing. We've opened a second location in the village at Main Street. For those who didn't want to cross the bridge, we're now open on Hilton Head Island. Locally, family owned and operated, ranked number one by our customers in service, price, and quality. We have over 250 years in manufacturing in our showroom. Our relationship with our customers does not end with the sale. We can save you 55 to 80% off retail, and that's no bull. It's hard. They don't have quite the athletes that BA does. They don't have the numbers of a lot of teams. And there's a run up the middle. Holy cow! Deidre Schuford, are you kidding me? That's a touchdown. Peter TD. Dietrich said, Jackson, Devontae, let me get some too. You know, that was just, that's a kind of that Johnny Manziel, just that wildcat yeah. lead, lead trap. No doubt. And, uh, you know, all, all these guys, all these athletes need, those three guys in the backfield, 
they just need a split second. Yep. You just got to stay on your block for a split second, and that's enough execution to get these guys in space and, and into the end zone. Did you know that the human brain doesn't fully develop until the age of 25? Substance use harms brain development, decision making, and leads to addiction. E-cigarettes negatively affect oxygen supply, endurance, and attention. Marijuana affects reaction time, concentration, and decision making. Alcohol harms endurance, judgment, and complex motor skills. All these negatively affect brain function and development. Make smart choices. Don't let your team down. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Welcome into the Island Tire and Summit Services Heating and Air post-game show. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Jackson Porter, and Nick Shuford with you. Coach, I am going to hand this to you, and congratulations on winning the 2023 Independent Bowl. Yes, your, your thoughts on the second half of this game where we really saw the momentum shift and you guys really displayed your will? A lot better than the first half, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> No, we came out a little flat. We had some drives going early in the game, and it, whether it be penalties or you know some other things, just drive killers early on. We couldn't get in the groove, but second half came out and scored early and, and kind of got going, and defense played a great game all night. Talk about Jackson Porter and what he was able to do throughout the night, but in particularly to cap this game off in the second half. Yeah, I mean, on both sides of the ball, he just had a day. Um, made a lot of runs, uh, made things happen that weren't even there at times. And, uh, you know, I, I, he basically shut down one side of the field. They quit running to his side of the field defensively. So, yeah, another heck of a job by him. No doubt a huge win for B.A. over Hilton Head Prep. Speaking of Jackson Porter, Daniel Court will talk to our MVP of the game. That's next as the postgame show rolls on on WHHI Sports TV. Back in a moment. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common, quality, innovation and service. Give us a call today. Welcome back. I am with a very special young man, Jackson Porter. Number two here is our game's MVP. Jackson, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That belongs to you. All right, yeah, speak, speaking of pretty boy, I got to get something straight here. I'm getting mixed stories. So I, I hear the coaches call you Santa Claus, but the players call you pretty boy. What's going on? I don't know where Santa Claus came from because I've never been called Santa Claus, but the team does call me pretty boy. I have, I, to, I inter I have to interrupt and real coach, quick. Coach has started saying 
calling me pretty boy. So and and say that I called you both. Well, you know, it, it ain't fair to be able to run like that and score touchdowns and look good too. Come on, you know, that, that just ain't fair. But I'll tell you, we, we were saying, you know, Devontae did uh, a little Ladies Island two-step down here near the goal line, and then you followed that up with what was more like a five or a six-step Ladies Island step. So tell me about that play. I mean, that was just an individual effort that we haven't seen yet. They they were talking after D got hit in the backfield, and I just wanted to get back for the team, and we blocked, and I saw a crease, and I just went. And I just wanted to get back for the team. Well, you know, coaches always say, you know, never give up on the play, right? And and you certainly didn't do that, and, and Coach mentioned it too. You know, we're talking about your offensive prowess, but you had a whale of a game on defense. But we all know this isn't an individual game. It's a team effort, isn't it? Talk about your team. Yes, sir. We did come out flat in the first half. We didn't play like we wanted to, but that third quarter, I feel like we made a statement early, and we just continued that throughout the game. Our defense played tremendous through the entire game. Our offense was slow in the first half, but in that third quarter, we really opened it up. Very well said. So, so what do you guys think? Yeah. A victory is a victory, right? I tell you what, this was a great night for sure and a great night for BA. Thanks to Nick Schuford. Thanks to William Howe. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to the fans for having us. This has been the Independent Bowl for Daniel Court, Larry Jackamot, Joseph Keith, Jeremy Pope, the rest of our WHHI crew. I'm Marcus Walsh. Thanks for joining us. This has been the Independent Bowl only on WHHI Sports TV. Next week, we've got the Beaufort County Bowl, Beaufort at Hilton Head. Until then, so long, everybody, on WHHI Sports TV. Let's hear you guys one more time. Good night, everybody.